Good day thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart, and this is So Much to Say YouTube TV. These are my thoughts in my voice on black shit, white shit, gay shit, and everything in between. So Much to Say YouTube TV is the place that you come to learn and grow because we discuss socially relevant things mixed with a splash of humor. If you know you have tissue paper feelings, this probably isn't the channel for you. But and however, since you're here, I just need for you to do two things. Hit the like button, Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on that little bell so that you get the notification every single time that I go live or upload something new. I'll see you soon. Bye. What happened? I'll be the one in that, um, that room that we didn't do. And we got to take that one down. Honey. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to take. Well. <laughs> Close the blinds right there. I can't, I can't stand this little bitch right here. <laughs> she said, what? He was bending. He was bending down. What else is new? <laughs> Let me turn y'all around. Hold on. We gonna take that one down. <laughs> in the little room. The little I room need to turn y'all that way. We we did, but we didn't do that room. We took it. We took. I took the brackets out. Right. But now it's a blind up there. But it's the twenty two. Oh, and it should have been the thirty one. Oh yeah. That's yeah. the one you was trying to take back. I said this is the one that goes now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she said. <laughs> Well, because it's too, like, it's right in the yeah, middle. Yeah, yeah. Like, right, yeah. It, it, it's the, it, it's the white spot of the yeah. little frame. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, I was like, what you mean? Though? Come on over here. She yeah. coming in. Listen. We got us some yes cookies. This is a black owned cookie place, please. I don't know them. They don't pay me, but they're black owned. And I always try to support black owned business. It ain't nothing burning jack over there, just burning some shit up. It smells like food. It smells like hair or something. <laughs> well, she does have all that ponytail in her head. Is some, is some of your ponytail burning? Is some of your ponytail burning? <laughs> She's so nasty. So nasty and so rude. <laughs> Elliot, I think we got a little um, apple cider over there for you. What's in that little pink bottle? Really? It's crazy. This is salad. That's almost like the salad. The one you had today. I know, right? What's that? Have to. Oh, so, um, now I'll see you trying to have some. Don't do that. I'm going to ask her that. I'm spending the night in glasses. She'll be spending the night in glasses on room. I don't know where Jack goes. I think Jack thinks she was on a, a, a cruise ship with all this damn vodka she didn't put in this thing. Please believe. How do you get in trouble? You are no longer. I ain't said no name, girl. Because she ain't like my cruise ship is the only cruise ship that's out there on the ocean. Is that real cheese? No. Oh, that's not cheese. Okay. I, no, I wanted no, to say this. I do have video <laughs> for Patreon that I'm going to upload prior to this. We had a nice little conversation before. I'm going to upload that. What is this right oh, here, wait, Jack? You were recording? I yeah. was recording. Oh, I didn't even know. That is some vegan uh, apricot butter, not oh. apricot garlic butter. Oh, okay. Now it smells good. What is now that? it smells good because before it smelled like the house was burning. <laughs> it was just turkey. You know, Jack, Jack over there cooking, but you know the food ain't ready. The food ain't ready. No, it ain't ever ready. Can I have a piece of bread? <laughs> no, can I, can I, ready? I need some. some little ready. Absorbent he can't have a little piece of bread. Go, who's in charge around me? Where is that? Can I see a manager? Right. <laughs> I'm off duty. I guess I'll sit right here, and then you and Elliot can sit. On these sides. What you say? So did you call Ryan? No. Everything is just. Ryan probably at that damn water park. I thought you had. Ryan ain't at. Ryan, I think yeah, at the water park. Friend. He went to the water park with his man. I thought you had a flat. I think Ryan's. Sweet. I do. It's in that room. I peeked in there. It must be his. You tell me the big. That big white one. No, big flat. All right, spirit. I don't have. He ain't never know. had no white flats. Yeah, I got a blue one. Well, well, she these in the refrigerator. The daddy gonna eat these later. Uh, Arthur, this is for everybody. This was in memory of Uncle and your mama. And yes. family, they didn't pass away. Well, they're not here. And y'all used to do this jazz yes. cookies because I want to taste this. You need to eat all these. What kind of cookies did you get? I got snickerdoodle. Oh, okay. I got so you're not chocolate, chocolate chip. What kind of cookies did you get? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're milk and cookies. Milk and cookies. Please Wait, hit the like button. Please hit the share button. If you put the vegan oh, ones on the outside, I don't, I don't care. About, figure, we used to figure you out inside. I don't care if the cookies touch. Like if it was meat, yeah. But the cookies, I don't mm -hmm. care. Oh, she put vegan on that side. Like, All right, yes. well, we'll catch. I don't know how she did it. The 
Is that yeah, Ryan Knox? Right. Who what? Is that Ryan Knox? Child, we're going to have to have to have a conversation because he's he going to stop abandoning us for that man. I know, that's like crazy. Tell me, I look up, he can't ever come and do nothing because he with that man. Child, where the cuss? Stop all that switching. Yeah. <laughs> all that dancing around. Oh, man. She can't do it. <laughs> That's it, that picture that he said in that group text. Oh, my stomach. Do y'all see this, girl? We see it. I didn't see it until you said something. I didn't see it. I didn't look. <laughs> well, what did I do? You the one pointed out your stomach. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So, Elliot, <laughs> me, Jack. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. At me, Elliot, Scott, Jack, and Ryan are in a group text. And so there was a picture. What was the picture from? It oh, that Jack took when oh, when Gloria and, and at the house watching TV, right in, in Baltimore. And so Elliot sitting there looking like he in his third trimester, trimester. And he's like, "Oh my God, my stomach!" I said, "He said, do y'all see that? I said, girl, we always see it. <laughs> we always see it. <laughs> oh my God, where was that? What room was that in? Was that in?" I think that's in the, in the room that Gloria's in. We, we put you put a TV out. in there? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, we did that down. When did that, where did that TV come from? We went to Walmart. Oh, the day I, you left. Okay, right. That is not true. I always balance time with my friends and stuff. I don't, I'm not. I'm not that person. Oh wait, I'm not that this one says. No one can miss Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over here, Anita. Where, where? <laughs> oh, yeah, Jack. Mm -hmm. uh, Francis K got to sit down. I sure do. When she get through cooking. Yeah, she's not gonna well, girl, you can't make the muscles all rubbery. <laughs> Rub my ass. <laughs> she over there screaming. Why is the camera mother. just on you? You sort to slide over. It's on me and Scott. Oh, she's so green. Oh, oh my God. Y'all got to move in. Did you watch? Girl, today? I got the monkey pot. We all got the monkey pot vaccination. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm more days in than you. Like, and so am I. So if anybody got it, it's you. I got it the same thing you got it. So don't play. No, you didn't. I got it the day before you. You got it on Thursday. And when'd you go? Thursday. Oh, he did say that. Well, I got it earlier in the day. <laughs> so it's, it's moving around in my bloodstream a little faster than yours. <laughs> Wait, did you, did you, is your arm sore? It's on this one. And she did it. It was in the fat of the muscle. Yeah, on the, the bottom. Yeah, like, what the hell? that's that's where they instructed to do that. And it's a little knot there, so I've been massaging. It. See, I don't have a knot. Scott said he has a knot too. But if you had a knot, mine comes and goes. Yeah, it wasn't there the first day, yeah. but yesterday I felt it disappears felt. and it and sometimes it itches too. So, so is it like an amoeba that floats around in your body? Mine itch. Mine you have itch. you have an itch? Is that the only area that you're itching? <laughs> Are you itching down here? Are you itching down here? There's bad There's no bad Badge is still a vagina yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, your vagina yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so I don't know. Was your arm sore ever? No, mine wasn't Mine sore. wasn't sore either. I thought mine wasn't sore because I went to the gym right after I was doing arm. So, but no, I I'm not saying it like. I had two. I had two injections. You don't need to bring that up. You had two injections. I need a high chair. I got the uh, monkey pox. Oh, and your hepatitis. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. You got hepatitis B? Hepatitis A. Oh, okay. Right. Well, they gave you your health record, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was surprised they had stuff from when I was a little boy. Yeah. 1971. I was surprised. Yeah. I was surprised about all that, too. I was like, that scared me a little, but then I was kind of like, well, it's good that they have Well, it's yeah, just yeah. the fact that it scares you because your shit is in that system. Right. It scares me because you have access to information. Exactly. And I didn't even know the date. I was a little boy. I was one. Well, as long as you don't piss a bitch off that work over there, <laughs> they got access to your information. Okay. And I didn't give no social security number. You just really gave your birthday. That's and they're like, oh, uh, Miss Why Elliot. Why would you give your social security number? No, I'm just for them to pull up all that information. I didn't get one. That's no. why I was shocking that they could pull all that. Jack is fucking with the light. What but the mean, only thing they did, I so I a got, a deep so they only had me down for two COVID oh, vaccinations. Oh, yeah. And I've had four. Oh, you got the second booster. So no, my first two, I went to Alabama and got. You didn't know that? No. Did it work? Because they didn't have anything here. They didn't, they didn't have any appointments here. So I, my ass, 
I called the I called the place. She rich. <laughs> she went up to Alabama. That's it. Look, that, look, no, no shade. But that's how the, the girls had to be with their abortions. They had to cross, they had to cross state lines. I called them. Look, I called CBS, and the lady was like, "I said I'm in Georgia." The lady was like, "We don't care about that. Just come on, and get, <laughs> just come on and get this shot. We just try to do our part. We just try to do our part." This guy, you don't care about that. I don't care about that. <laughs> Sophisticated lady. Oh my God. I know that's right. You gotta go on over she to Alabama. Have time to do all this. Good she when I saw you on Wednesday. Baby, I get my lace front this morning. I okay, didn't have to well, I did. Days. I did mine this morning. Mm. I got a video. <clears throat> what are you talking about her hair? Do you like getting facials? I do. I do. You do too. They're relaxed. I wasn't talking to you. Okay. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not, I am not talking about a cum facial. I mean, I mean like a real. I mean, this part, you gotta clarify. You gotta, okay, well, I'm gonna set up a, a facial for all my time friend that does facials. Oh, okay. Because I appreciate you guys. You were talking to me. No, I was actually talking to Scott. I had, I know he likes facials, but yeah. I, yeah, I hadn't yeah, gotten I to you. Too. I like. Both I don't mean. Horrible. Horrible. So I had to clarify too. Mm. It's I ain't gonna, Come from here, you have to be clear. <laughs> right. Medication is our part, and the clarity is okay. our part. Mm. I'm gonna set up a facial bus because I do appreciate y'all going to Baltimore to help me. And wait, um, wait, wait, wait. What happened to the trip? We done bumped down. We done bumped down. Okay. 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 So, okay. So, let me let me say this. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Okay, so here's the thing. So those of you, we went to Baltimore last week to get everything straight for my mother's house. I said to all of them, when I saw how much work we actually had to do, we ended up having to paint the house. I had hired painters, and they did a half-ass job, so I gave them half of their money. Because they were drunk. Right. And so we ended up having to paint, so that really wasn't what we were supposed well, wait, to I do. I didn't paint, because I don't paint. I don't right. Don't paint. Well, you held the Well, wait, you don't paint? What kind of paint are you talking about? <laughs> I'll do any kind of thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> but so I had said to them when we were home, I said, listen, if and when this show, this TV show that I'm doing really takes off and, you know, I, it does really well, I'm going to take us on an, an all expense paid trip. I'm going to pay for it. And I didn't hear that, bro. I you didn't hear that? Oh, but then you're not included. Uh, yeah. Now, bitch, I'm included. Your mama told <laughs> <laughs> So, so when I just said, I'm going to take everybody, I mean, I'm going to get everybody a, a, a face, and he said, oh, no, I, what, happened to the, what happened to the trip? <laughs> we'll still do the trip. So, girl, quiet on the side. <laughs> girl, quiet on the <laughs> Girl, she have dicing up cilantro or whatever. What is that? Parsley. Mm. Parsley. Roughly. <laughs> Carry on. Girl, you finished over there? Because, girl, they can't hear us. Y'all was just laughing. Okay, so, anyway, the purpose of this live is to kind of give you guys their perspective, including Jack, on what they saw. And listen, I want you to tell them in no uncertain terms, like, how the house looked, the condition of the house, what happened when I was about to whip some ass. I didn't see the house till the second day, so I can't, like, I didn't see all the craziness that y'all described. Right. So, me, Elliot, Ryan, Ryan and, and, got, Damon. And, and Damon, Damon, and Jack got there on Friday, but Jack yeah. got there when we were asleep. She was, so it was technically no, Saturday. Got no, she got there Saturday, Sunday morning. But she got there after me. Yeah, y'all knocked out. Oh, yeah, so, um, oh, yeah. She was riding standby on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, so by, by the time she got to the hotel, it was two in the morning. Yeah, it was tomorrow. <laughs> so, so I got the pleasure of escorting Gloria and Gladys on the plane, which was not as bad. I actually was a little bit anxious about that. And I didn't tell her. Oh, I knew you were. Because I didn't know what it was going to be. And I was I was really nervous about getting the wheelchair. Like, I, it was stuff I've never had to navigate before. Yeah. And I wasn't sure what that was going to be like. And like Ryan, I get anxious exactly. about stuff of, yeah. that I don't no, it's on it's foreign Unfamiliar territory. territory. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I had asked Scott to fly with my mother and Aunt Gloria on Saturday simply because my mother does dialysis on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So we flew up on Friday, and I knew she wouldn't be up to flying 
on a Friday mm -hmm. after having dialysis. So I booked her flight. Well, Elliot booked her flight and Gloria's flight for Saturday. And so then on Friday, myself, Elliot and Ryan flew up on Friday. So we needed to, because we need to go to Home Depot and start getting supplies and things like that. So then on Saturday, we could go straight to work. Correct. That was the plan. That was the plan. <laughs> go ahead. I'm gonna let y'all take this, take this. Go ahead. That was the plan, but that was not the executions to that degree. So what happened? I got there Friday. Elliot got there first. first. And I'm I'm like Scott. I was a little my anxiety set in about I've got three large suitcases. How am I gonna get them? Not only from my car to the air to the you know to the check-in desk, then get them off the plane oh, yeah. in Baltimore to get them on the rental car bus to get to the damn car, then making sure we got a big enough vehicle that accommodates the bags plus six people. See, so I didn't know that you all weren't I thought Ryan and, and Craig oh, were no. with you. No. So Elliot got there. What time did you land? I got there at one. So Elliot landed about one. Ryan and I landed what about five? It was five fifteen. Five it was right at we were going four fifty and yeah, five. It was something around around five. And Elliot took my mother's bag, Gloria's Which bag, because he, what, you're a platinum member? Yeah. He's a platinum member on Delta, so you get to take as many, what, three, three bags? bags free. You get to take three bags free. So he carried their luggage with him. So, so I wouldn't have to deal with. Well, on Saturday. All they had was their carry-ons, which I was really appreciative right. of. Him. Not that I had any issues, because it was actually very easy. But that's so, what we were trying to make sure. It was yeah. going to be easy, right. because the experience of us bringing her back, it was two of us. Yeah. And that was not easy because you got to deal with bullshitting and make sure she gets on the plane, she gets seated. Yeah. So it, it's a lot. And then Aunt Gloria is going to help you too, but yeah. she wasn't going to take no wheelchair. I already knew that. Right. Aunt Gloria was not going to take a and wheelchair. She, and I kept asking if she wanted to give me her bag. And she was like, no, I got it. I got it. The backpack. Because right. I, I didn't even realize until she told me that the laptop was in there and she asked me to help her put it on her back. Okay. And I was like, this is heavy. Like, get, let me carry it. Because mm -hmm. I only right. had one bag. Okay. But she said no. Yeah. So we landed. They landed. At, I got that one, got the car. Once I got past that of getting it off, and this was the thing about Baltimore, most car rentals, and I've traveled a lot, they will get off the bus and help you with your bag. So when um, you were in Baltimore. That man <laughs> removed his fat ass from that seat. I, I it, you know, was a, a guy who helped me. He said, do you need any help? Because he saw me throw, I took two bags on the, on the first, and they were big bags. Well, the glass bag weighs 65 pounds. Yeah. Did yeah. he charge you for that? He didn't charge me. Because it's supposed to be charging if they go 50, no, he didn't charge pounds. Then the second bag, the big red bag, that weighed 45, and our glorious bag weighed 34. So I oh, took, they split the difference. They yeah, put, he probably did, good. and he didn't charge me for it. Anyway, yeah. I got the bags on the bus, got them off the bus, got them to the car. Then I had the pleasure of meeting the contractors. Thank you. Early on Friday. So, so Elliot the had the painters. Oh, the painters. To, you know, get them the supplies, find out what they need before Craig got there. And then we were all were supposed to go to the house and they were supposed to take the rooms. But the the, the downside was it we hadn't seen the house either. So right. we didn't know what condition it was in. Our plan was the painter was going to meet me at Home Depot. We get the supplies. We all get to the house. We meet Craig. We move the furniture and out or move it to the center of the floor. <clears throat> At the same time, they take the room up so Saturday morning they can come in and just go straight to pain. Baby, Craig will tell you he got the text. When I walked into Home Depot and I saw Mike, I didn't know who he was at first because I saw Mr. Lawrence first and he said something. Mr. Mike was standing there and no lie, he had a bag full of chicken with dirty hands and he was eating the chicken with his dirty hands and he going to reach I said, oh, no, I'm not touching your hand. OK, Which so one wait. Michael? Oh, Mike, Mike is the one that, that you yeah, okay. that was So funny. I have a question. So how old, when you first met Mike, how old did you think he was? Be honest. I thought he was in his 60 or late. Or how old did you think he was? Probably the same. How old did you think yeah, he was? Same, 60. And he's my age. He's Get 54. Yeah. He is. I asked him on he's the porch. He's 54 years old. Hard life. How, how old he was. And he That's said 54. I told him, what did I tell him? Stop. Go home. <laughs> I said, go home. <laughs> 54 looking like he's 74. He really did. But anyway, we got there, we got, and I should have picked up then. I did pick up one thing. I, I text Craig and I said, I think this man is an alcoholic. Did he smell like alcohol? alcohol? No, he I never looked like alcohol. I know, no, no, I know, but I, no, I didn't smell him. Because sometimes just with alcoholics, you can smell the alcohol yeah. coming yeah. out of their skin. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh,
No, you're fine. I'll, I'll make it. Please don't knock that hot stuff. I'm not. <laughs> what is that, hot bra? Yeah, That's, for your uh, yeah, for the um, for your muscles. Mm -hmm. For you to slurp. <laughs> <laughs> We're eating muscles, guys. Not those muscles. Oh. Sorry. Excuse me. Anyway, we met. I'm sorry. He tells me. Oh, I only have. I said Craig is on his way. He's going to meet us at the house. I says, who is? I said Craig is on his way. No, to he told Mike this. And this is what Lauren said. He said, I said, are you sure that's enough? Oh, shit. Well, we you know your muscles is on the floor. <laughs> cool. He talking about me dropping it. Can we leave it there to the show, Right. <laughs> Go ahead. So, okay, let me just say this. So, Mr. Mike, Mr. Mike and Mr. Lawrence were the um, were the painters. Mr. Lawrence was nice. Right. Let me move y'all back. He was the more experienced one. So, where did I come in at? Because when I got there... You, so you're I not got... in Baltimore yet, girl. You still at Delta. Oh, you still, oh, you still at Delta trying to get on the plane. Girl, you still at your house. I'm right. Sorry, you still trying to get on the plane. No, she said at her house trying to put her wig together. She wouldn't even think about getting on no plane on Friday. I put my wig on, on before coming to Boston when I had to work. On Friday when you... No, was... I was not doing my hair on Friday. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was doing my hair. Yes, I'm bad. What about that? <laughs> but I was trying to do my hair. Can y'all see everybody? My point was you was not Focus. getting on the plane right. ride, right? Because yeah, I just came from Jackson on Thursday. Oh, you came from Thursday? I didn't know that. Yes, I just got back from Jackson on Thursday. I thought you came back on Wednesday. Jackson, yeah. Mississippi? Yes. What were you doing next? Right. What? What were you doing next? She went down there to see her uh, granddaughter. Grand side. Grand side. The king. The king. The who? The king. Her grandbaby. Pardon me. Pardon me. Oh wait. Now you can't. Okay, now you can't do. Uh... No, tie <laughs> oh, Hold on, niece. Let me let me get y'all together. This is good, Jack. It is good. This is a garland and. So, so somebody good. said, "Where did you find the painters?" I found mm -hmm. the painters because they were they were. Oh, he's 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 okay. So um. The painters were referred to me. So the painters were Mr. Mike, who was the one that fell asleep. Oh my God. <laughs> and the one that Elliot's talking about who had the dirty fingernails. Wait, before, but before he fell asleep, he had to go home early. That was on Saturday. On Friday. On Saturday, yeah. Saturday. Saturday. Sorry. Well, that's not all your mom. That's, that's the table for your office and your mother. <laughs> you just a soft head and tangled up. Oh my god. <laughs> she lost all the money. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway. The muscle. Anyway, I told Craig he wasn't he wasn't what I thought he was. He didn't even pick the paint. Mr. Lawrence was the one telling him what to do. And I sent Craig a text saying, I don't think this man know what he's doing. He only look, he looked like an alcoholic. So I said, we're going back to the house to meet Craig. He said, oh, oh. I'm in my cousin's car. I got to have it back in the house. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're supposed to be coming to the house to take the house up. He said, well, what does the house look like? I said, we don't know. When I get there, you'll find out. But we're going to move the stuff you can take around the baseboard so you can do the baseboards. He goes, oh, we're only doing, and Mr. Lawrence said, oh, we're only doing three rooms right. I said, no, you're doing the whole house. Mike says, oh, I didn't know we was doing the whole house. He's eating his chicken with his dirty fingers. I said, Mr. Mike, you knew that. Craig put that in a text because I'm on the text. So you knew he was doing the whole house. Mr. Lawrence says, oh, he just told me three rooms. I said, well, update. It's the whole house. So now that, that was the whole. He said, well, I'm not going to be able to go today, but I got to get my pills and just car back. That's when I met Craig and him at the house with the paint. What we thought. We didn't have the paint then, though. We didn't have. We had the painting supplies. We didn't have the physical paint. Right. We had the ceiling paint, which was a five-gallon bucket. Mm -hmm. But the house paint was a challenge within itself. I'll let Craig tell that because, baby, that rocked my nerves. Just trying to find a five-gallon bucket of paint. Y'all went right to Home Depot? We went to four. We went from Home Depot to Home Depot trying to find. You what? know that motherfucker Craig Summers. I, I had got that bowl because I only counted three. I said that. Oh, he put them in. I was putting out shelves in here. My shelves were still in my room. <laughs> Well, I need room. I need room. <laughs> Did you see how he threw that phone down in that hour and shit? Ain't hey, nobody see other than that bro with Joe. He's so grand. I mean, like, who want to eat the mussels with the shells still in the, in the bowl? We you doing? might take the mussels and scoop up the Which one of these is yours? One of these is yours. You might take the mussels and scoop up the rock. Probably this one. What? Jack, you know he not cultured like that, child. He from Baltimore. <laughs> 
<laughs> Watch it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Elliot gave Mr. Mike a $200 deposit. I'm going to Per your instruction. Yeah, because he said to me, I need $200 for the deposit. I said, okay, fine. So, Elliot gave him $200 deposit. I sent the money back to Elliot. <laughs> and Friday night, we got to the house. Well, first of all, we went to Home Depot and we ran looking for stuff. And then we had to go back to the, we, Damon, the guy who was coming in from Atlanta to do some of the work, he was coming in. What time did he come in? 11 something? He swept in there at 9 30. His, his flight, flight was delayed because it was rain or something. Yeah. I think he came with, what did he come with? Nobody. Damon came by himself. Enough for Girl, we can't even have a conversation because she keeps interrupting. So, right. She don't care about conversation. <laughs> so, me, Ryan, and, and, and Elliot, we went to Home Depot. We went to Walmart, I think. Lowe's. Lowe's. Mm -hmm. And then Damon, I ended up sending an Uber to the airport to pick up Damon because. When we got to the house, it was so much shit in the house. Remember, my mother has been here for eight months. So it was so much shit. It would have been longer than that. She came in October for her birthday, and she came back in December. In December right. So it was so much shit in the house yeah. that we didn't really bargain for that. So we had to move a lot of stuff out of the house. And That's what I I was embarrassed. Okay. I just regret we didn't get any pictures of what it looked like before. I don't know. Because we were oh, so you did, you did not. We were so charged up about getting, getting it out and putting the paint the yeah, next yeah. day. Yeah. And the biggest challenge was them because they was upstairs. I went straight to the basement. And I saw that flood in the basement. I'll come back to that and Craig and, so and I was upstairs. Walking into. We didn't know what we were walking. We didn't know what we were walking. We didn't know what you were walking. We took a picture that of the guy. trash by the thing, and the trash was as long as this island and as tall as this island. Oh my god. So Friday. Y'all got ambushed on Friday, pretty much. Pretty much. So then we were at my mother's house until what? 12 30, 1 o'clock? It was 1 o'clock. It was 1 a.m. And by the time I washed my uh, coochie. By the time we got back you know, to the I hotel, it was 1 30. By the time we got back to the hotel, it was 1 30. By the time I showered and got in the bed, it was 2 o'clock. We were back at the house at what? 8 something? Yeah. Yeah. Because you were there by oh, the time Saturday. we got there. On Friday night. Yeah. No, this was on Saturday, Saturday. morning. So we got back to the at the house at like eight something in the morning. So I was sleep deprived. I was tired, and then um, and cranky, and cranky, and hungry, and hungry, and it's hungry. And what time did y'all land? Ten o'clock. They landed at ten, so we had been at the house for about two hours. Because I thought I was gonna get on the flight y'all first. <laughs> Jack, we still, looked for you. The flight was screwed up. Okay, I know that time. Jack's still on standby at this point. Was you in the airport at that time? Yeah. No. No, she got there, what, about 12? Uh -uh. I kept telling y'all, no, I wasn't. Uh -uh, I no, we weren't reading your text. The whole row, I sent y'all all the niggas and stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, she we said, weren't reading her text. We weren't reading your text. No, we were busy. She said it was text messages. I'm like, girl, we got busy. I just want to let y'all know. <laughs> that bitch ain't coming. And that's the other thing. On Friday, Gloria was still here. Remember, Gloria, Scott, and my mother didn't fly till Saturday. Gloria texted me and Elliot. What y'all doing? She calling the phone. Girl, I ain't got time to talk to you. We are busy. Is it an emergency? Oh, wait. And then your mom set off the alarm before we left. <laughs> yes. Yeah. My home alarm went off. Yeah, because he was asleep. It was 6 a.m. It was 6 a.m. No. She could not glory yeah. call me. She was going to throw the bread out to feed the bird. My mother opened up the back door. Oh, that was 6 a.m. Yeah. And the alarm is going off in the house. I'm asleep. Oh, my God. Elliot calls. Because Barbara. when Glory calls you, she said, Craig is answering the phone. Your phone is on silent. She calls me. I go down to the room, knock on the door. What did I call Ryan? I called him and called Ryan. I called Ryan and said, please tell Craig to answer his phone. And then I don't know the code. And, and it was going off. And Glory was like, it's going off. It won't stop. <laughs> and I'm like, what is she doing with my mother going outside at 6 in the morning for, to feed some damn birds? She was <laughs> so technically, I didn't even get eight hours of sleep. So we got in the bed at like two. This is happening at six a.m. on Saturday morning. On Saturday, Saturday morning. morning. So then we got up, 
Went and, to the house. Me, Elliot, and Ryan had to break down furniture that was in the house because my nephew was supposed to move all of his shit out of the house, and he did not do that. Didn't move a damn thing. Not a damn thing. The house was nasty. Oh my god! Friday night. I told him. He, I told him back in May. In the May that he needed to move his shit out. Mother Gladys had been contacting him during the month of July. He wasn't really answering her calls. Her. He told her. No, he wasn't hitting her. No, when we found out there was mold in the house, she told him. He said, "Grand, I move all my stuff to the so basement." Y'all found it out before we got there. Before we got there. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, we talked about it. We talked yeah. About it. yeah, we talked about mold, and she said she told him. I said because they really shouldn't be upstairs if there's mold. He told her, "Don't worry about. It. I've already moved my stuff to the basement." He hadn't moved anything to the he basement. He hadn't moved but anything. the mold is in the basement. The mold. No, but see, we didn't know what the basement looked like. Right. We were talking about the, the mold that was in her room. Yeah. So, before we went up to Baltimore, I had the mold remediated. I paid somebody to go in there and get the mold out. Oh, you did? I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what Rob did. Oh, okay. Rob, yeah, Rob is the guy who came with the air conditioner. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got the did mold. Did he fix the air conditioner? No. no, somebody else did. Okay. Somebody else is doing that. So anyway, it was just a lot going on. So we had to break down furniture, like yeah. like break it apart, like the mattress, the box spring. Yeah. I was so angry yeah. I pulled the mattress apart. The mattress, the mattress, the mattress, the mattress was, story you told me, I thought I was like I thought I was gonna vomit. <laughs> oh, it, with the mattress pad, all of it. Yeah, it I threw all the shit outside in the trash. trash. I'm like, if he didn't move it out of here, it's trash. Okay. The mattress was disgusting. Her, her box spring was a challenge. And that was in mom's room. Yes. Yeah. Because he start, he started sleeping in my mother's room since so she was sleeping in, on that mattress. He was yes. sleeping in that mattress and... with someone else, apparently. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, That's what good. Scott is alluding to, That's there what was said in the, car. the mattress pad was a little disgusting. It was remnants of a woman's cycle. Nasty goose. And the last time I checked, Mother Gladys had not been there. She's not in that stage in her life. So she's, therefore, well, she's long not had a cycle. Exactly. So that oh wasn't her. It's TMI, but thank you. What I want them to know, I, 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 when I told Mother Gladys today, there's going to be some things said. You be prepared because I'm, gonna, I'm not going to hold back because it was disgusting. It was dis I was embarrassed. And Craig said, well, what are we going to do with this? And I said, the fucking trash because it was nasty. Yeah, I yeah, wouldn't have been well. That's why, yeah. that's why I, it wasn't me to be there. Me neither. <laughs> that was, that was I would not have been well. <laughs> I have to credit Craig and Ryan because I, I was downstairs trying to suck up the water in the basement. They were upstairs breaking down her room, and it was just like we was on go. It was go because we had to get everything out. And then yeah. they got that mattress pack. They got the mm -hmm. top mattress down, no problem. When they got to that box, box spring. Because it won't turn. It, it will not turn. turn. And those stairs are tight. Tight. Yes. Because the stairs are tight, because first of all, it's a row house in Baltimore, so just think of Baltimore, D.C., Philly. And then remember, I had that motorized chair yeah, put in there, yeah, yeah. so that makes it even smaller. Yeah, I should have just thrown that shit out the window. So it, that, <laughs> right. it would be out the window. So I was just like, it, this is impossible, because even when we were ordering, because when we got there, we had ordered, Elliot and I had ordered a bunch of stuff. We had ordered new mattresses, we had ordered bed frames, bed frames beds, new beds, like all of that shit was tables. console tables. All of that stuff was there. And I kept trying, because Elliot hadn't really come in the house before when we went up there to get my mother. I went to the kitchen and turned around. And that was it. Oh. And I was, I was saying disgusting. to him, it's going to be really hard for us to get this furniture upstairs yeah. and to get the stuff that's yeah. upstairs down. Yeah. So we had to go to Home Depot the night before, which was Friday. We had to buy tools, like a drill and all, all that kind of stuff to, un to break all that shit down. We didn't even have a hammer. We didn't even have a hammer. No, you bought that Saturday. I, right. We didn't have that Friday night because there were no tools. In there the were house. no tools because we had to break the we had yeah. to break apart that mat, that box spring yeah, with yeah. a screw a flat yeah, yeah, screwdriver in my hand. Oh, my oh wow! There I was, was no so tools. I was embarrassed. I was exhausted. I was frustrated. I was mad. I was angry. I was all of, all of that. And then I just kept thinking about y'all coming the next day. I was just saying, you know, like, been on your mind because you know. Oh, why were you thinking about yeah. that? Because it was just it's just like to. to to think that he was living in that house rent free, and the only thing he was paying was utilities. Yeah, and that's all he was doing. And you couldn't even keep the house clean. But why was that embarrassing for you? Like that should have been embarrassing for him. Well, yes. because it's a representation of his mother and his family. Yeah, you think about it. It, it, is, it, 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 it is. It is and it isn't. It's right. Not. It's not. And it's, it's just like not. she's been down here for nine. 10 well, months. I say that indirectly because we know Craig. 
everybody may not look at it that way. Like, why is that house nasty? Are y'all nasty people? No, it had nothing to do. But when somebody come in your house, a family member's house, I've had it. I've got aunts that you go in the house, you're like, I warn you before you go, she's not clean. It's right. Not I mean, he the had roaches going to be doing the Olympics on the wall, so don't be surprised. Oh, my God. It, he had, but honestly, like, we never saw roaches or anything. No, no we didn't see the roaches, but we did see feces, mice feces. I didn't see. Well, you know, I that's did. Baltimore. They ain't got nothing to do with Wait a minute now. <laughs> Wait a minute, Detroit. Look, Wait a minute, Detroit. Detroit. Yeah, because we did see a rat going down the alleyway when we were going back to the house. We did. 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 No, uh, and her and the costume with the red go jump. But it was like he had toys everywhere, socks, shit clothes everywhere. everywhere. In um, the basement, everywhere. In the basement, in the dining room, in the kitchen, in the Those living room. Those hair beads were all over. I mean, his hair beads were everywhere. He has a five year old. Like, yeah. He's like, yeah. 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 Yeah.
And then the white girl who put her water bottle up there turned around and looked at me. And I'm just like, that's... Like it's no big deal. Right, but she was so but, uh, She's all of like maybe 14, 15 She probably was 14 or 15. She was a young child. So in her defense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sure. I'm sure I've done some trifle shit at 14. Right. But my parents were around to pop me in my mouth. I was just like, did she just do that? <laughs> but what were you saying about the refrigerator? No, because you watch it fast. Because before before I got to the refrigerator is when, and I got there late, you need to go back up because I didn't get there at 3 o'clock. She didn't get there till like 3 in the morning. We sleep. I mean, my dad was sitting on the tarmac like that. Oh, because we had been drunk. We, I'm sure we were at that, re we were. No, that was the night after. after. No, that was the night after. What you saying? When I finally got on the flight, he was sitting there. I'm like, why is he taking so long? It's you had to say what I said. What you said? I said, I don't know if it's covered with rain, so he finally took off. I said, oh my God, I'm supposed to be there at 12 52. <laughs> I didn't get there until 2 a.m. So we told Jack, girl, you going to have the Uber, girl, because we're not <laughs> coming to the hotel. Craig was sending me the 1306. Elliot to my 1309. Craig to my uh-uh. Oh, right. Because I, okay, we so, thought Elliot's room was the same as, as ours. ours. That's why we. Well, but y'all were in the same room. Okay, so here's the deal because they don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me, Scott, and Ryan were in the same room. Right. Scott and Ryan were in the same room. It was a two bedroom. It was, we had a two bedroom. It was a two bedroom suite. Right. So I was in one bedroom because it was only one bed in there. And then Ryan and Scott were in a bedroom because it was a it was two beds in there. And then in the living room in the middle, it was a pull-out couch. We thought Elliot. Elliot and Damon, the guy who did the work, had the same had the setup. same setup. But they actually had one room with two beds in it. Who was Damon? Huh? He, was was he was in the room. He was in the room with Elliot. Were you? Oh, I was in the other bedroom. In what other bedroom? In the room with the two beds. Oh, you were in the room with Ryan and Scott. No, I said Girl, Ryan. She ain't listening. Girl, <laughs> Ryan and Scott were in the same room. I know that. But I thought you were in the room with Elliot. No, no I was not. You were in 1306 or 1309. So you were in 1306. You were in 1306. Right, you were in 1306 for me. No, 1309. I mean, you and I were in 1309 with Ryan and Scott. No, y'all were in 1306. I was in I thought it was 1306. First of all, when you got there, Jack, these three were Craig in was the in two bedrooms. In the same suite I was. Yes, yes, but I was in a bedroom that only had one bed. Right, okay, I remember that. So then you and David were in a whole nother a room. Down the hall. Okay. But Scott and I thought that their setup was like ours. Yes. Okay. But they only had a room with two beds. Two beds. Two beds. So when Jack was texting from the plane, telling me, hey, I'm on my way. What's the address for the hotel? I'm trying to send her over there with them. Because right. our room was full. I was in one bed. Scott was in one bed. And, and uh, Ryan was in one bed. With the exception of the sofa. With the exception of the so sofa bed. And Scott and, 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 and Elliot is texting, no, you need to go to that room, girl. Yeah, she's slow. <laughs> and I was like, no, she need to go over there with y'all. And I said, Ryan needs and to start And then Elliot drinking. starts bringing all the phones in the in Elliot the starts calling the hotel room. Yes. <laughs> he starts calling the hotel room. Elliot starts calling the hotel room. And I didn't answer. No, that None of us answered. answered. Cause I looked at the phone and I looked at Ryan and we both turned over. So like, Elliot said, no, it's this and that. And I knew that he did the booking, so I'm gonna follow what Elliot said. Exactly. Because so they asked when listening. Right. I didn't know. I, I didn't, didn't know. Because I sit there and said, I booked the extra room. When we was outside that day doing that straw, I said, because I don't want anyone to have to sleep on the couch. That's why I booked you the extra room. Because everybody was supposed to be in that one two room, two bedroom suite. That was the plan. No, no. Everybody was supposed to be in an Airbnb. Right. <laughs> right. No, right. if we had been an Airbnb, it was the same setup. The Airbnb only had three beds and a pullout suite. Already. Oh, that's all we had. So anyway, when I, I got there, I'm telling you, it was every bit of 2.30 or 2 a.m. I heard you come in. I, I heard her come in, too. Yeah, I like, yeah, she, I need, she need to settle down out there. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm Everybody out of Margaritas at the airport, right? Oh, so you you down there begging for Margaritas? <laughs> no, I was begging. I was tipping the people out to let them cut the line. So the people. Mm. So anyway. To cut the line? Oh, my God. Help, Lord. Because you were on non-rep. Right. No, but the only thing that was over was TGI Friday. So oh, you are talking about the Okay, okay. So then, got there. I walked into the room. There's some, and there's some the, more. The, yeah, this is. <laughs> hello. Look at you don't have to spray the bowl. Show Craig's bowl, please. Bang, bang. This bowl is empty. This bowl is not empty. This, oh. this, <laughs> these, these are the shells. I'm gonna be eating. I'm killing. So go ahead. What happened? So I walk into the room. Two doors. You know, it's like desert, and I see this this leather sofa. And I said, okay, well this must be something. I'm tired as hell. I said, I put a bitch out in a sheet and a pillow in the oh, mattress, and, I didn't and the mattress got that. a hole in the middle. 
I didn't think about that at all. Why do you tell me the mattress had a hole in it? Mac, not, not a hole, but a sink. A sink. Okay. It was it a dip. Sink. A meniscus. So I'm, I'm looking around. Not a, not a sheet, not a pillow. I said, so they're going to be the sleep. I'm in penitentiary. <laughs> I'm like, so but I was tired enough to sleep on that bare mattress. I was tested. I called and I said, it's the PBT. Well, yeah, you from Detroit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please bring some sheets up to the room. Are you going there? Yes. And I asked you to ask him in the morning. I sure did. Did they answer? Yes. yes. And he thought he They have 24 hours of hours so they have to. I was knocked the fuck out. I didn't hear none of that. I said, I don't have a pillow. All I heard was the door closed. And I was, I went right back to sleep. I didn't hear that. Y'all were so nice. I didn't hear that. <laughs> we were tired. We had done all that work. Yeah, we were exhausted. No, and I didn't want to bother. I didn't want to wake up. I'm glad you did. Because it was approaching 3.30. Oh, my God. So I was like, then I couldn't sleep because I started itching. Itching. Itching you should have gotten in the shower, sitting in the air for all of an hour. Like, like, oh, oh yeah, I'm glad you didn't come to my room. All that monkey box itching. I know. <laughs> because it was the mattress. Like, I'm itching. I'm itching. You should have took a little hole back in the kitchen. <laughs> Actually, I did. I did there was a kitchen. I did brush my teeth. Oh, you did? <laughs> <laughs> that was the only thing I had to do. Oh, and my. then, before you know it, it was time to get up. Okay, so wait. Can we go back? It's time to get up. Let's go back to Saturday afternoon because Mr. Mike has left and leaves Mr. Lawrence at the house and goes to, he says, he goes to urgent Ooh, care. Mr. Yeah. yeah. He said, he, he said, well, that's what he was always calling him. He said, he told you what? That he got what? What happened to him? He said something with his back. Yeah, he said he, um, his, he, and then he could barely walk. He could barely walk, but then came the next day to panic. Yes, not without, not so by choice. Not by choice. Not by choice. Not by choice. Downstairs at breakfast on Sunday morning, we're sitting at breakfast, and all of us are sitting there, and Craig is going off. Yes, he was. He was going off. How many times I gotta ask you to send me the number? <laughs> That's when I came off the elevator. I How know. many times? I asked you for the number 15 minutes ago. All you got to do is text me the number. Because <laughs> at this point, I didn't want to be bothered with Mr. Mike. Mr. Lawrence was clearly the even competent though, one. He was the competent one. And, even and though, the nice one. And the nice one. And even though Mr. Mike supposedly hired Mr. Lawrence to work for him, Mr. Lawrence was a professional. He knew how to paint. He, he, was, tell, he was giving him instruction. And so I was trying to get Mr. Lawrence's phone number because I didn't want to deal with Mr. Mike. We anymore. were trying to move Mr. Mike out. Out. <laughs> and so I called Mr. Mike and was like, hey, text me Mr. Lawrence's phone number. He said, all right, I'm about to text it now. But he knew what I was up to. He knew I was going to cut him out. Him. Right. So he wouldn't, he wouldn't send it. But Mr. Mike had already sent me his address. I said, I, I, I said, I'll tell you what, I'm on my way to your house. You seven minutes from where I am. He was seven minutes from where we were staying at the hotel. So I jumped out the car. Ryan jumped out the car. I'm ready to kick Mr. Mike ass. Craig jumped out the car. I was on the and third. Ryan got now look, because Craig tried to. Ryan. Ryan is like Charles. He's in motherfucking twice now. Right. <laughs> so, and you know his arms was all like this. So Ryan over there standing like he like he just standing like a dog. I said, look at Ryan, about the Brian standing over there, he's the body guard. But Ryan, Ryan ordered the Uber. Ryan, yeah, Ryan and ordered so, the Uber. And Craig all like this, and I said, I said, okay, they brought me to leave a fight. And I'm sitting in the back. I said, okay, this is, this is gonna be a fight. Like, I was like, I ain't Because it was what, six or seven of us in there? All of us. Yeah, yeah. We were all Me and Jack were in, on the third row. I was Elliot, in the day. Elliot and uh, Damon. Damon are sitting on the second then row. Ryan. Ryan. And then Ryan's in the front with you. And then me. So we didn't have room to pick them up. They needed transportation to get to my mother's house to paint. So I had to go to his house. And Mr. Lawrence came walking around the corner. Ryan was going to tear that ass up. I just, if, right. If, if, if one of them had moved the top, Ryan was And I had to request an Uber to transport them to my mother's house. And so, of course, I deducted that $20 from their fee. At the end of the day, though. <laughs> Craig was 38 high. I ain't cracking no jokes. I, ain't, I, was, I was holding my damn. I was <laughs> hot. I wouldn't. Why was y'all nervous? I, was, I, was I knew Craig was going to do that. He's going to there with the first of all guys. Ain't nobody going to jail and you don't pass the first thing. I don't touch nobody. Because if you touch me, I'm going to try to kill you. That's why I don't touch people. 
because I blank out. That's a little scary. That's that's me. <laughs> that's why I don't fight because I'm going to try to hurt you. But see, my philosophy is a little different. That's why I don't argue because exactly. I, I'm not running my blood pressure up. I'd rather fight. Right. I'd rather fight and get it over with because I don't want my pressure raised up. But y'all don't. Want, but see, that can, I know my where I will go. And Cassandra can attest to it. I blank out. I don't know, and I'll come too. And you be laying there with your head busted. That's why I don't pass lips. Yeah, the only She's fight I've ever had, had, I blanked out. You and blanked out. And I, did, I, what I guess came to, and my fists were sore. I didn't remember anything. Well, I know this one from his books. Okay, he, oh. you know, he back down, down, and deep down, and he shot on my it come out. And I said, I said, you brought me a fight. <laughs> now, if they had broke out, then I would have got the car. I didn't know what you were right. doing. I didn't want I you to go in that house because I didn't know what was in that house. No, I wasn't going to that house because when I looked, well, when yeah, I saw Ryan, it was like, a mess. Ryan was like, let me just stand right here and wait till something happened. Like, Ryan was standing here like a, like a whole um, uh, uh, assassin. Yeah, Ryan jumped out with me and we, we would just stand there and look. So, Mr. Mike came out. So, I ended up requesting, well, Ryan requested the Uber. And then we waited for the Uber to come and then we went on to my mother's house. That was Sunday. That, that was, was Sunday. Sunday. And so then that was the day that my nephew came back with Where his mother. Wait, wait, let's back up. Back up. Saturday. Okay. First of all, we finished Friday. Are we clear on Friday? The house was disgusting. We yes. pulled out as much as we could yes. to try to prepare for the paintings to come on Sunday, Saturday yes. morning. Mm -hmm. They got there Saturday morning. Saturday. And Mother Gladys, Scott, and Aunt Gloria, yeah. and Craig's father picked them up. By the time they got there, there was still a lot of stuff downstairs that there we was. hadn't completely taken out of the house yet. That's right. right. Because we did what I'm, we could do. Meanwhile, I'm looking at YouTube videos on how I'm going to finish this dresser because I know I had been commissioned. <laughs> but she's still in Atlanta right. at this point. And well, we have on. we have put the dresser on the back burner. Right. Because right. right. that was like it's low on the priority. Yeah, that well, actually. that went to the back burner once. Because we ended up having the pain. Correct. And we couldn't get it down them step. Another reason, because oh, when yeah. we had all that issue with that mattress. Yeah. Craig the dresser said, wasn't good. What are we gonna do with the structure? I said, yeah. move that shit over to the other one. We ain't touching that. We could have taken the drawers out and then like Yeah, yeah. yeah. But too much. So carry okay, so off. Saturday. So were y'all in the kit or was who was in the kitchen with me when uh, my nephew came. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, but were y'all y'all were upstairs? We were upstairs. I was upstairs because I didn't know. He so came. he came Saturday and Sunday. He came Saturday. Yeah. And he Saturday. came Saturday to get a luggage. He came He's Saturday and he had. You were downstairs. You Is were that when she tried the? Key? Oh yeah, I was in the kitchen because he <laughs> tried. He Cause... tried the key. Oh, and I changed all Craig, of the locks. He Craig, Craig Damon had changed the locks. Luckily, right, right before that, because right before he got, we didn't get the locks until. Friday, Saturday. Because right. we went to Home Depot. Because Aunt, Aunt Scott had tried to change the locks. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, no, 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 Oh, I can change the locks on the door. If my mother can do it, I can do it. That is, Scott, that is so much nice this. I did but that's what he said. Scott got to that door. He was there for two minutes. And I said, where is Damon? Because I can't the shit. It was like the screen door, the big door. No, it was, it was that door. 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 Oh, okay. I, and I, it was just too many instructions. And I was already <laughs> overwhelmed. Yeah, it was a lot of instructions. I was already over. And look, and David came and did it in how long? David, listen, the time that Scott stood at that one door trying to figure it out, David had done all three of the doors. Oh, yeah. And I said, that's good. <laughs> and so no sooner had he changed the locks, my nephew came. was there trying to keep. And Craig had to open the door. And I opened the door for him. And he walked past you. He said, hey. And I, I didn't hey. hear him say hi. I didn't hear yeah, him say He said, but hey. But he walked past me. He said shit to me. He walked into the basement, didn't say anything to your mother, no. didn't say anything to Gladys. He didn't say anything to anybody, anybody except me when I opened up the yeah. door. And, and then he did something. He and went down and he got a like a carry-on luggage. Because we had, by this time, we had taken enough of his stuff downstairs to the basement. We had taken all of his stuff downstairs. Right. Oh my goodness. And a lot of the trash that was just in the house, the stuff that I couldn't figure out whether it was salvageable or not. I said, just put, trash. Scott was like, well, what about that? Put that shit in trash. Right. Elliot, well, what about trash? Trash. Yeah. trash. And so he went down there for probably like 10, 15 minutes. And then he but came before, back. Let me, let me back up because I need to say this to make sure people understood. And especially your mother. You didn't just say trash. You looked at things. You did. With the eye. You say, did. And we were saying correct. like, what it, like. Well, yeah. And I say that because there is that jury box situation. You, I didn't touch it. 
you had a small jewelry box. box. Yeah, it was small. I didn't see a big jewelry I box. I didn't see a big jewelry box either. You, because you put the small one in the kitchen on the stove. Right, that like that, like a, a red wood. Yeah, wood. yeah. 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 I, I didn't see any uh, any other one. Yeah, she's called me the other day talking about some jewelry box. I'm like, girl, that must have been gone before we got. Yeah, because that was no, because you didn't. I, I don't know if you would think you threw things away haphazardly. Right. right. No. You, you no. took the time to say, what is this? No garbage or this is broken. Right. Garbage. One second, girl. Why is the oven still on? Oh, I was looking at this. I'll turn it on. She's over here. Let me <laughs> Girl, why is the oven still on? In case we had to warm the bread back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. We we warm and great. Right. So I want to say that it's for me, like when he walked in and didn't say anything, that was very telling to me. And it it created like I've never seen anything. Oh my because mm -hmm. I I've never seen it like <laughs> to walk in my grandmother's house and, and my grandmother is there. in there and, and not speak to her. Like I was like, oh, who the fuck? He didn't. He didn't did did say. The only person he spoke to was me, and I think that was just because I opened the door. Yes, yes. I was like, like, in the living room. Right. I was in the living room. They they, didn't, right. And he didn't say nothing to her. No, he didn't say anything to anybody else. Not one word. And I was just like, I literally. It kind of shook me a little bit because I was like. What the fuck is that? Like because before we went up there, you were like, "Well, we're not going to get into any type of conversation with your, with your sister or your or your nephew." You, Elliot probably. said to me, he was like, "You don't deal with." I was like, mm -mm. I, "I can't deal with." I said, "No, they ain't gonna try me." I don't deal with, well in drama and strip. Like it's not. That's not my bailiwick. Right. <laughs> right. So that was Saturday. So then Sunday, we're starting to see progress. some progress. Yeah. Right. Uh, we ended up having to paint uh, the majority of the upstairs. We basement. painted, let's be clear, they did the baseboards in your mother's room. Right. I had to go behind them and clean the baseboards in the door because I told Mr. Oh, Lawrence. Because Mr. Lawrence didn't I, come back either. Correct. Mr. Lawrence, I, I bought a nice lunch for everybody. A it, really nice lunch. It was from this restaurant in yeah, Baltimore. That was seafood. amazing. Yeah, Scott kept saying, oh my God, we had, we had to stop trying. Yes. So it was like all this lump crab meat. Like we really treated them to a really nice lunch. And so I treated Mr. Lawrence to a night, the, the painter, to a really nice lunch too. The other Negro had already yeah, right, left. Right. He had already left. It was at the urgent, urgent, and, care. urgent care. So I treated him to a really nice lunch. And Mr. Lawrence, my dad ended up taking him home because he said he has a, what, a bipolar? A bipolar fiance. Bipolar fiance. Yeah. And he needed to get her meal. And he was coming back. And he, he was going to come back. coming back. Well, my dad drove him home. And, and you he, had to call him. And he never came back. And I called him and was like, um, are you coming back? He said, well, we'll be there first thing in the morning. What? And that was at, what, it was late. I, yeah, we, yeah. Yeah, it was like 10 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was late. I'm sorry. And so he never ended up coming back. So when Saturday rolled around, that was Saturday. You were hot. I mean, I mean when, I'm sorry. When Sunday rolled around, you were hot. And we went to do, I don't know, we did a Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts run Dunkin or something Donuts. like We did a Dunkin' Donuts run. Again, I bought the stuff and I asked everybody what they wanted. And here they are, the painters upstairs. Yeah, can we get a couple of eclairs and some coffee? I said, oh, I didn't hear that. You I said, them that. niggas ain't getting nothing from me. They can starve in this motherfucker for so long as, I, as far as I didn't hear that. <laughs> that motherfucker said, can we get a couple of eclairs? really clear. He was I, like, I ain't buying this. I said, I'm not buying any motherfucking thing. We missed that. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. And I meant that. And so when the food yeah. came back, I called Scott and everybody else and said, hey, you know, the food is here. And they came looking. I said, yeah, I, I didn't buy you a breakfast. <laughs> and the same thing when lunch happened. Yeah. We ended up, where did we get lunch from? Same I don't place, the same no, we, didn't. we got lunch from somewhere oh, else. Came from somewhere else. I don't remember where we got it, but I didn't buy the answer to lunch either. Nice. Right, I didn't buy the answer to lunch that day. Was that where the trout, the trout? That was Monday. That was Monday. That was Monday. I don't remember what we had on Sunday, but we had some. Some place was Vic Me and Lonnie, because that's where. Oh, we went to, um, that was Corinthians, the Windsor Inn. Yeah, we went to Windsor Inn. So we got food from Wednesday, and my dad was really, yeah. yeah. So my yeah, dad, he yeah, went and yeah. ran and got the food and brought it back. So he was really helpful, oh, yeah. right? Because while we were working at the house, he yeah, ran and yeah. got food and brought it back. So that was really cool. I said, not today. That's right, Shamar. And so anyway, um, got everybody food except for them. They were eating chips. They were eating potato chips and water. I mean, that sounds is there good. some, that, Mr. Mike, is there some water in there? Uh-huh, here you go. Yeah, here you go. Here's the water. <laughs> Get you some city pond. <laughs> I meant that. Yes. 
so bad for me. Because I heard you say it to them, like, well, what did y'all want? I said, I'm not buying them nothing. Yeah, because. Elliot was like, well, what did y'all want? I said, uh-uh, I'm not buying I didn't them. know that you were. I had made my. Well, because I, I checked that. <laughs> Saturday, I was the person that was coming to get with. Sunday, I said, oh, I'm wait, done. you had stepped out from Madam Charles. Right, right. I said, you're going to be afraid. That was, Elliot was like, oh, so what did you want for life? I said, you ain't no damn step, because I'm not buying them motherfuckers nothing. <laughs> Look, can I just I give a, I want to give a side note yeah. about how Elliot was the manager on duty. Oh my time. god. And he was uh was cracking the whip. Girl, he had a headset and a clipboard. <laughs> he had a headset and a clipboard. Do you hear me? Headset and clipboard. We had to report him to our union rep several times. <laughs> and poor Ryan. <laughs> Ryan treated fairly. <laughs> what? Child, she walked around barking on us. <laughs> it got done. I had to apologize to Ryan because I got, I'm this way. When you're doing something as, as chaotic as we're doing, I'm about, you have to keep things clean. Because mm -hmm. when you leave, I got to clean that shit up. And Ryan, he stepped Ryan up. had paint oh everywhere. God. He was stepping all in paint, tracking paint through the house. <laughs> oh, so, I did that too, though. So Jack had to, she was scraping up paint off the floor. And, oh, and I, <laughs> but I stepped in it outside. Well, it was all over the floor because they had wasted it because not him, but the drunk guy was, yes, was dripping paint everywhere. And I'm just oh. like, it's on the plastic. So Ryan in that paint, he had his music on. He had his earphones. And he, he was stepping in it and it was all over the floor. And I'm yeah. like, stop. But, but I think it was up. big of you to apologize to him. So that was good. Yeah, because I get, I don't like a disorder. I right. do not. I can't right. That's not disorder. Right. Right. And in all fairness, because I'm not a painter either. I was in there painting. Ryan was painting. Because you did, you really did finish my mother's bedroom. Me and Ryan finished it. Ryan yeah. did the, the and then Ryan, Right, and then Ryan did that other room. The other room. Yeah, he right. put one coat, then Damon cut it out. It still needs another coat. The hallway was horrible. And you heard what I said Sunday to Mr. Mike and Mr. Long. I'm not, in, I don't like what I see. Mm -hmm. I said it was up to me. Y'all yeah, didn't yeah, say that. Like he that. said it was done. And you were like, I don't like what I see. Right. Yeah. That's why I let you handle them, because I wasn't going to get a shit. And I definitely handled them. Yeah, you would oh, back and forth. I would yeah. get their ass fucked. Because look, when I came outside to tell you something, and I was like, wait, what's going on? I, looked Baby, around, I, I was like, holding court on that front porch. <laughs> I said, now, you told me that you were going to charge me X amount of dollars. How much do you really think you are? I said, because <laughs> we paid it upstairs. Yes. And he said something. I said, well, I'm going to give you $150. That's all you get. And that was too much. Right. Too much. I, Elliot had already given them $200. Was Elliot had already given them $200. And Mr. Marks, you'll, you'll have to get smart. I was yeah, like, he going to say, but you ain't got to get smart. I said, let me explain something. This is business. What are you talking about? Right. I said, I'm a professional. And I said, I do my best to try to support black business. I said, but what you I not going to do? But he was not a business. I no. mean, for real. Because he came downstairs and I was cleaning the refrigerator. I was ready to oh, come upstairs. Show the I picture of him sleeping. And I said, you need and a ride I, home, don't you? So I see him sitting there and all I can hear, I said, okay, he's a crack head. Like, I don't know if they were just going to see. He's just a real crack head. So I text Craig. I said, is he on break? With a picture. She texted me the picture of him sleeping. And Mr. What? Lawrence came to me and said, I'm really trying, but he's not cooperating. He's downstairs yeah. sleeping. Yeah. I said, Mr. Lawrence, correct what happened to him. Don't worry about it. You sure will. Because I'm out. I'm out of there. I am you, you asked for Mr. Lawrence's phone number. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was ready to come upstairs. I said, well, I know that my purse, Elliot's backpack. She scared the man going wrong. I said, nah. I don't like this Look, yes. get this him sleep. Jack took this picture and sent it to me. I said, this is you. When I pulled them out on that front porch, I said, this is you. So how much do you think you should get paid? So I had one to put a little piece of paper towel over there, like a little booty trap. I don't want to say that. I said, now listen, <laughs> I don't want to choke his ass out. Right. If I go back down there and some stuff. And my, my mother kept putting my wallet to the side. She kept hiding my wallet. <laughs> okay, wallet was so wait. I mean, so let's segue into when y'all are upstairs, because yes, please. y'all so are this upstairs, is Sunday. Sunday. And I'm in the kitchen. I'm gonna let y'all tell this. I'm and in the I kitchen. Was at the you were in the refrigerator. So we look up, and Craig's sister is at the front door with a key. That, that, that ain't gonna work. Nobody. Yeah. The door was the the screen. The, well, the front door was open, and the the storm door was unlocked. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she tries her key. Then she walks past you. No, she didn't walk past. I was. I had the you had the door open. open. And she was like, "Excuse me," and I'm looking. I'm like, "Who the fuck is this person?" She, now, like, mind you, she I walks past like Gloria that. and her mother. Doesn't say shit to them. Nothing. And walks past me. Don't say shit to me. Goes to the back door. 
has her key trying on the back door. So by this time, Gladys has come into the dining room and said, it doesn't work. If you can't speak, you can't come in. And so basically, my I, and I was upstairs. He was I, upstairs. I didn't know. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. And so I, I, apparently, based on what they were telling me, she obviously was going around the house to see if the key worked because she know who the fuck I am. And so that was the, one of the first things that I did was change all of the locks. So after that, after she said that, and she went back out, and the and the and Craig's nephew is there too, I go upstairs because I'm like, okay. And I'm up there painting. Craig needs to deal with this because I don't know. So like, Scott came upstairs and said, I was like, you need to go downstairs. You need to come downstairs. I didn't know what was downstairs. <laughs> he just said, you need to go downstairs. And so I go downstairs. Go ahead. Oh, well, yeah, you, you upstairs. Go. I was upstairs. Okay. And he so came I, to me. He said, I said, what? I said, why are we whispering? <laughs> why the fuck we whispering? Why are we whispering? He said, the sister's out. That's what Elliot said. You don't deal well. This is, I was like, mm -mm. <laughs> Right. So I go downstairs, and when I get downstairs, they're not down there. They're in the basement. In the basement. My sister so had, had, I had to go to the refrigerator. Right. They down in the basement. So they're down in the basement. So I'm just milling around on the first floor. Waiting Tell for them. us to be quiet. Don't sit right, waiting for them to come back upstairs. And so they leave right back out front, and they sit in his car, which was parked in front of my mother's house. And so I'm just milling around because they haven't pulled off. So I'm like, well, what the fuck are they doing? So I'm like, let me just sit, stand downstairs. Next thing I know, the police pull up. And I come downstairs. And, and me and I was like, the police was standing in the room. I'm and like, I was like, Craig, the police is here. <laughs> right. So my mother's sitting in the dining room. And I and so my sister and my nephew are standing outside. And they talking. And I can't hear because the storm door is glass. So I, I see them outside gesturing. And, you know, just they, you know they just carrying on. Just niggas. <laughs> and so they just doing all this. And so then um, the police are like, okay, okay. So then the police come upstairs. So I said, mom, come to the door. So I'm standing at the door. So I open the door for the police. My nephew and my sister, they trying to come in behind the police. I said, no, y'all can stand outside. So then the police say, wait out here, please. And so my sister, oh my God, oh my God. Like she's 61, acting like somebody's 17. <laughs> like girl, grow the fuck up. You're a senior citizen. <laughs> <laughs> Physically, <laughs> mentally, she's fucking 12. She <laughs> is. And so um, so my mom, she's telling the story. And she ain't telling it fast enough for me. But I'm standing there and I'm she's listening. Like, oh, Lord, it's my good mom. Right, so she's telling this whole story about how she, I had to come up there to get her and bring her down to Atlanta. She done went all the way back to December. So finally, um, they were like, well, ma'am, you know, honestly, he has rights because he, you know, he's he's a tenant here, blah, blah, blah. So then that's when I jump in. And so I jump in and I, tell, I go through the story and I explain how it's really neglect. I said, because my sister mm -hmm. stopped taking my mother to dialysis, stopped calling, all of the above. And I said, nobody was taking care of her and making sure that she had food and making sure she had meals, blah, blah, blah. And they were like, listen, we really understand everything. It was a white woman and it was a black man, mm -hmm. cop. And so they were like, well, we understand, you know, but, you know, by, the, by law, like, you can't just change the locks. Yeah. And I said, well, I hear you, but he might have to make an appointment because <laughs> to come in here. And because he ain't getting no motherfucker. Because he, that's exactly, that's exactly what I said. That's exactly what I said. That's what I said. Because I came downstairs today. At that he point. ain't getting no motherfucker. I said, he ain't getting no motherfucker. I told the cops that he ain't getting no motherfucking key. <laughs> I said, he going to have to make an appointment. I, I go in the kitchen. Y'all in the car now. I'm going to get ready to go to home. So Scott place. and... Yeah, Jack, Jack and Damon are in the car. In the car, I'm about to go to Home Depot because Shirley got to leave the scene. Shirley was behind <laughs> the wheel, and that's that's my Somebody has to live to tell the story. <laughs> 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 I don't give up, I was crazy. You text, you text me. I, but I thought, I no, Elliot was there. Yeah, because Elliot was one of the people I, pulling me and holding me back. Somebody there. needs to hold the gold annex to get the people out of jail. <laughs> Somebody got to tell the story. <laughs> so, so um, I said, well, he's going to have to make an appointment because he ain't getting no motherfucking key. That's all I kept hearing you say. He ain't getting no I said, he ain't getting no motherfucking key. You said, I understand what you said. I understand what you said. But he ain't getting no motherfucking key. Oh my God. <laughs> so the cop said, she said, well, I, I hear what you're saying. She said, but. If he uses force to get in the house, we can't arrest him. I said, he can use force if he wants, but he will get his ass kicked. 
And he's standing behind the car. And he right, he's standing out on the porch. Cause the, cause I come in, and this is what I didn't like. There, the cop, there's a cop here in front, the white lady's here, the black man is by the in front of the door. Uh-huh. Craig is talking to them and they're pointing fingers, and the nephew is on the other side of the door. The cop has the door open. Uh-huh. He's standing there. He's really not trying to keep the nephew out. I said, he wants them to fight. So I yeah, stepped yeah. in between the cop the and the door. I said, you ain't coming in here. Because the nephew, I said, Get, don't touch me. Right. Because I don't know you. Don't touch me. And the cop looked at me. He said, thank you. Because Craig was, they was, it was, that he yeah, was going to let y'all fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was going to rest. And I was going to tear that ass up. And that's what I didn't like. And I'm like, that's why I closed the door. When they left, I closed the fucking door. I was going to whip his ass and her ass. They, it was, it was too right. much. It was just too much. And then Craig got to have the last word. Got I got to have the last word. word. I closed the door. His ass goes to the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I'm God. at the window now. And so he's trying to open the damn window. I'm like, Craig, calm down. He at the window. <laughs> I'm like, I, I, oh was, I was trying to get out the window. It was just, and, and, and my mother you had this high. arm. I was, I was hot. But it takes a lot for me to get to that. Let me just so, say that. It takes a lot for me but to But all get. of that had built up. It had built yeah, up. Yeah. And so my mother had this so arm. Ridiculous. Hey, yeah. what? It really it, it, Because it, you were thinking sad. about how nasty the place was. All of oh, that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And so my mother had this arm. Ryan came down at some point. He pulling me yeah. on this way. He tells me, he's a Miss Glass. Please sit down because I don't want Craig to knock you down. Because I was going to yank from my mother. You know, but that's the only reason why I didn't yank is because I just fell. She would have fell. Yeah. Cause I was about to yank from her, and I was, and I kept saying to him, "I will fuck you up." I was talking to him through the through the glass door, and I said, "I will fuck you up." And what I was said, he doing? He was he was just like, "Who me? Who me?" I said, "I will fuck you." He up. kept saying, "You don't want none of this," and I'm like, "The cop is right. standing between them. Like you see, they're doing this. You're not trying to tell him to back off. No, you just standing there to wait for something to happen, right?" Why, why, get why, why didn't he tell them to go get in their car and leave? Right. right. And then my sister said. You. But she whispered it. She whispered it. She said, mm-hmm. fuck you. I said, fuck you, you junkie bitch. Oh, I oh I lit her ass. I, I, know you did. I, lit, I said, you junkie bitch. And that's key to remember yeah, that he said that because we're gonna talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I said, fuck you, you junkie bitch. I said, you mean you couldn't even fucking take her to dialysis and you motherfuckers think y'all entitled to some shit? You think you're supposed to live off of her forever? You couldn't even do that. And then you went to say, look at them fucking shoes. I said, them cheap ass sneakers. Said, oh my God. I said, talk about the girl shoes. Him. He went to the shoes. I was just like, look. So I closed the door because it was just like too much. Because here's the thing my sister came into a settlement. She had a malpractice suit or some shit from a job she worked at years ago. Long story short, she came into some money where she really should be okay today. Well, she's one of those women. But and however. But and however. She's one of those women that needs a man. She's validated by a man. And she didn't let these men fuck through her and her money. And now she broke again. And so now she leans on my mother asking for money. And, and she does? Yes. Ask, she only comes around when she needs something from, from my mother. And so I put her into that shit. So, of course, they fucking hate me because I'm not allowing that shit to happen anymore. Right. And so, because well, they're adults, because that, girl, you're a senior citizen. You're 60, 61. You'll be 61 in January Where's or April, April, whenever. So it's it more so, like you said, to Scott when y'all had lunch, and I watched that video. You said my sister been on drugs since she was 19. Yeah. You said mentally she's still that 19. She's still 19. Yeah. yeah. And after, and I told your mother today, after meeting, I don't want to meet your daughter. I don't mm-hmm. want to meet your nephew. I said Craig has always pumped up to where I said he was the good guy. After yes. Sunday. I don't like them. Right. I don't want to meet them. Yeah. I don't want to be around them because they're negative energy. Right. Well, right. anybody that can walk past their own mother and yes. grandmother after all yes. that they've done yeah. for you. And, and my mother raised you. Yeah. And so that's heartbreaking. It is. So the fact that you're standing outside yes. the door yeah. on right. your mother's side, yeah. someone who didn't even raise you, didn't even make any oh decisions for you. Yeah. And you're against my mother. Like, are you serious? Where right you now? lived in her house. You could have been in an orphanage. Yeah. yeah. If my mother hadn't stepped in, you would have been in foster. That's it's just it can happen like that. not once. Yes. And I can only, yes. I can only imagine how your mother feels. Yes. Well, that's why I sat down with her Sunday. Y'all were still gone. After all this was over, I said, "Are you okay?" And she said, "No, I'm really not." I said, "Well, this needed to happen." Yes, it did. Mm-hmm. I said, "This needed to happen." I said, "Cause I told you what she was going to do, but you didn't listen." Yeah. So the other thing is, you created this. She did. And I, because I'm, I'm going to be honest, I love Mother Glass, but I'm, you got to pull the card right. 
you created these monsters and you needed to see this. And a lot of mothers do that. So if you're watching this that's and true. you are that mother that's created, like because you cripple your children when you give and give and give yes. and give. You have the trust that they have wings and they're gonna learn to fly on their own. And push but them out. Yes, out. but they'll never fly on their own if you're gonna always be there to save them. Yeah, yeah. And so it's, that's like, that's why she's 61 and my brother's 60 calling her, asking her, can he, she help him buy an AC unit? And I had to get on my phone. I was like, she ain't buying you no AC unit, nigga. The nerve. The nerve. She ain't well, buying you no AC unit. love of a mother. So then he's so he going to tell my mom, do it. I just don't like the way he talked to me. Well, nigga, don't ask my mother, <laughs> your mother. But no, well, and that's the thing I said the other day. You remember the comment from the time, I can't believe you. you talked to my mother like that. And this, and I think I said it to Scott, or I know I said it to Gloria. You can say that, he can say that to you, but mm -hmm. you're not supposed to defend your mother. Mother Gladys is your mother. Exactly. Yeah. She's being mistreated, right. you're defending her, right. but you're not supposed to do that. Exactly. That's right. According to them. See, exactly. They, they do that because, because your sister stays in their ear. Yes, indeed. So she hears, they hear her more than they hear mom or hear yeah. you. Yeah. So, so they'll jump to defend the foolishness more so than what's right. Exactly. And I've said to my nephew, the oldest one that comes here, you've seen him. I said to him, I said, part of the reason your mother acts the way that she does, because none of you motherfuckers check her. I'm the only one yeah. to check that bitch. And you said that. Yeah. I, yes. Exactly. When? When did you say that? I was going to type it in that text. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Scott said to yes. me, don't you respond to that. Because <laughs> I was going to tear his ass yeah. up. Because <laughs> after all this was said and done, my nephew that lives here, Text me talking about why would you talk to my mother like because I called her a junkie bitch. But that was after she said fuck you to me. And so I said, No, you ask her what the fuck she said to me. That's right. That's right. That's right. And so you know, Scott and I said I thank Scott. I said, I appreciate you interceding and uh -huh. saying to me, wait a minute, before you send that text. I need you to think about it. Like, you don't have to respond. I don't have to respond. It is so much more powerful when you don't respond. I don't care if it's a love relationship. I don't care if it's a family yeah. relationship. Let that bitch sit there and wonder what you think. Don't even respond. Bust their head. That's far more powerful. You because you have to have Oh, it was I difficult. Yeah. But you know, it's, it was difficult for me to learn that. Because for me, and I, so one of the reasons I was able to say that is because I had to learn uh -huh that my silence is a lot more powerful so, than yes. my words. Yes, yes. And because I had to, like, people that come at me, I feel like they're attacking my intelligence yes. or they think they're smart. And I have to, and particularly people who are about words, yes. you're not going to challenge me to a fight of words. Right. I'm going to win every right. time. Right. Yes, indeed. Right. Right. But then I had to realize I don't have to fight. Like, I don't because have to say anything. Because they got to be first That's of all, right. they got to be coming I don't have to say anything. I don't say anything to you don't. anyone. Corporate America taught me that. Yeah. yeah. And it will. It will teach it, you. It taught it me that. Teach, so the best way to answer sometimes is no reply. Nothing. I can say that. Is a I can say no comment. And, 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 what does that mean? No comment. Yeah, yeah, you, you need to leave it alone. Yeah. 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 So, But and he wasn't even mad about that. He no. was mad about other stuff. Exactly. He was, my nephew that lives here was angry because he asked me last week before we took my mother home if he could come stay with me. And I told him no. I said, listen, I didn't dedicate the past nine, ten months of my mother being here. Mm -hmm. I need to enjoy my because house by myself. Housing. He didn't ask me. So he, 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 he asked me because he house sick. Nigga, no. no That's why you have an alarm. That's what the alarm system is for. So he, I was he knew my mother was leaving. And so he wanted to slip in. But he had asked me for money prior to that. And I kept saying no. Because, but wait, wait, wait. According to them, you don't have any. Like you need, you need uh, your mother. According, according to them, my oh, mother. Right. According to them, my mother helped me buy the house. So why are you asking me for money? Because I ain't got it. I just closed on the house. I ain't got it. Right. Mm. <laughs> I don't have a problem with time. I don't. I don't. I don't agree I'm with some shocked. of the things I, he I'm does. Surprised. But I don't. He's never done anything to me. Now I always say to you, go in with a level head, and you say what you have to say. But with the, with with Terrell and your sister, Sunday proved to me who they were. Yeah, but my mother needs. I wanted to come back to this point. My mother definitely needs to see, that, to see that because one, she helped create that monster in all of them, and it's almost like they're drug addicts going through withdrawal. It's like they were. They're so used to reaching out to her and saying, "Hey, can you help me with some gas money or pay my power bill or do this or do that." And it's just like when you finally cut them off and say no, no. it's like they're lashing out at her. Because yeah, yeah. it's like, well, how dare you tell me no? You've always said yes. Right. Right. So that's, the, that's, the, that's the behavior. Yeah. Right that's, that's right. So, but you still have to check online and do, do periodic checks because 
because a mother or somebody else who's been who's done that will yeah. feel that that okay is it something I could have done differently or did I do it wrong or whatever that caused them to do that right. it's not right it's not, it was, those are choices exactly they, they took. And, and so exactly. you have to, to, to check on her because because in her even her illness and her age she can be weak or vulnerable enough to fall into yes, that. Yes, well, that's why, she ain't, that, that's why she ain't got no money to give them. Because I got the money. <laughs> now, she get her money that she get monthly. Yeah, yeah. But like my mother, I think those of you that are on my Patreon, you know this. My mother had another house and she sold that house. That was what, probably two, two, that three was years, two years, years ago. ago. Right. Right. Before the pandemic. right. And so when she sold that house, she mailed the check to me. Cause she was like, if, if I hold that money, I'm gonna give it away. But that might be why they think you. See, that is yeah. why they think. But, that. See, but yeah. you know yeah. what that happens. You so I got the money in her savings. So she wasn't really spending them. This is the first time she actually spent money when we got all this stuff for the housing. Right. Cause she paid for this stuff. And so prior to that, like with her living here, like she wasn't paying any bills. Even when we went out to eat, mm -hmm. I paid. Elliot paid. She wasn't paying, oh, my friend that is when we went out. Somebody else paid. Somebody else paid. She wasn't paying anything to live here. So her money was just sitting in the bank. So when this happened, I said, girl, you, we need to throw out all these towels, yes. all this silverware. You got this money sitting over here. Mm -hmm. Spend the money. And so when, whenever she spends money on something that she wants, I send her an email. You just spent X amount of dollars, and this is what your balance is now. So I got a paper trail. But see, she sent that to you because right. she knows that you have right. ability right. And, and intelligence. And right. All the things. And she That's knew that she would have given, because like when my brother called her for the AC unit, like, she would have sent him that money for the AC She would have sent him that yes. money for the AC unit. And, and who knows if he would have completely fixed it. All right. And like I told him, I said, Get off them drugs. You need my own motherfucking AC unit. But, but he works every day. And you work. And that's what I told him in the text. I said, yeah, you work. Got so he won't address me. He'll talk to everybody else because they know not to play with me. <laughs> well, that was Sunday. Right. Let's move to Monday. Okay, Monday. I'm we're flying back we're, to we're, Sunday, we go back to the hotel. The story is he has to usher her out the house again on Sunday. He does. I do because have Because we were sitting oh, yeah, in the car. car. <laughs> we, were sitting, we sat in the car for how long? 20, it's probably about 20 minutes. Because yeah, 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 yeah. I came in the house and I was still up there another five minutes. And I didn't say anything she when was I came in. No, you didn't. I just stood there with my arms folded. All right, you got to tell them what we're talking about. She was sitting in that house like, she was like, oh, they going to leave. So this is the second night. This is the second night. My mother was trying to spend the night the second night. Because the house looks a little bit more livable. But it's still, her bed still wasn't together. The mattress was out. Yeah. All the windows was open. It was so fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you had breathed, and my mother was waiting for all of us to go back to the hotel. Yeah. And my dad was there waiting to take my mother back to his house so they could she could spend the night. All of us are in the car. And so she's my, waiting. My, so she's thinking. My, my mother shirt. Right. My mother is trying to and my mother, right, they, they my, mother, my mother is thinking that once we go back to the hotel, she can just tell my father, go on home, because I'm not, I'm not going to your house. I stood in that living room. I said, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, Do you, they all in the car. I said, uh, where's Including your... glory. <laughs> right, I said, where's your, um, your overnight bag? I said, you got everything you need to go to my father's house? Um... <laughs> Yeah, she, thought she, was gonna stay. she thought she was going to stay. I said, girl, you have to go out of here. So anyway, we ended up getting, so Elliot came back in the house because I was putting her a little to-go, a little overnight bag. And so Elliot came back in to see what the fuck was taking And I just, did, I didn't, because I just looked at He said, you can't believe you were wiping your glasses. And just looking at her. Right. And I have to commend But you. you had already said to her before we started moving to going outside right. that you can't stay here. So yeah. Several people. You said, said to her, her. You can't stay upstairs. The floor is slippery. The fumes are mm -hmm. bad. You can mm -hmm. slid downstairs, broke your back off. Right. Said, she she said it to me. I just was here. like, I'm not getting involved. What she said is. She's like, I'm not going over there. And I just kind of chuckled and walked out the room. I asked her why. I said, why don't you want to go over there? She said, well, he sleep with the TV on. I said, so do you. So do you. No, my damn electricity bill so damn high. And she laughed about it. She said, well, you're right. Mother Gladys was trying not to give excuses, but at the same time, that doesn't work. She was looking at them like she was looking for a pot of gold. She was putting all that stuff all on. So I'm digging through her luggage, trying to find an overnight bag, because she got to go to the house. She had to my shirt and everything. I'm like, girl, you going up out of here. I don't care what you said. I commend you, because I walked in, and you was like, mom. 
you was very patient. You wasn't yelling. You didn't. That's why I came back in there. Yeah. Like, Let me go ahead and make sure this child ain't yelling. Right. You were patient. You said, what else do you need? She said, well, I need to. You said, send the car. And everything you had an answer for. And she right. finally ushered on out the door. Right. And I said, all right, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> and then I put the alarm on and I left. And um, and then Monday morning. Oh, wait. Because we, we, we went to eat. And you, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you did a performance. So me, Scott, and, <laughs> me, Scott and Ryan went to this little spot. Is that the town of the room? Okay. Yeah, so oh, Jack had gotten in the shower. Who and so we figured if she wanted to come, because it was really close. I really so it's we literally, literally around, around the corner. corner. We literally exactly. walked around the corner. And I so stopped talking to Ernestine. Right. So well, we Ernestine figured. was in the bed with my scarf on. She had her nightgown on and, 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 and rollers in her hair. What's Bob? Because we were like, well, you want to come around with us? We thought y'all were going to be sleeping. No, Ryan asked everybody. We're going. I said, no, Ryan, I'm going to bed. I was not. But did I, I didn't go to bed because I was talking to Jack. Right. And it, by the time y'all came back, we were still up. Right. Because we, yeah, me, yeah, Scott, yeah, and, uh, Wisconsin, me, Scott, and Ryan wanted to have a drink. And then once we and got ended it, up eating, I ended, ended up, up eating a pizza. pizza. That pizza was good. And I needed a drink. Good. Right. So we ended up going around the corner. We ate. Scott or Ryan actually talked me into doing that damn karaoke. So I got out and did the karaoke. Yeah. And then we came back. And then Monday morning, they all, well, uh, you and Jack went to Target. Yeah, we got yeah, a room with yeah. Target. They went to Target to get yeah. other little knickknacks, like pillows sweet. and stuff like that from my mother's house. And in the meantime, my, my dad and my mom came and picked me up and we went to the court to file the eviction for my nephew. So while I was doing that, they were at Target, and then they came back and picked up Ryan and Scott. And, and we put together the beds. And they went back and put together the beds in both rooms. And let's go back to Sunday for a second. I do have to commend my brother Scott. Yeah. We're the oldest of the group. Yeah. We lifted all the shit and took it upstairs. Oh, we sure did. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> By <laughs> ourselves. And that shit was next. It was. Because <laughs> Elliot wanted my mother to have that adjustable frame. Adjustable frame. Like the frame that lifts up and you can sit up and watch TV. So she has one in here, but Elliot had ordered one for um, for Baltimore too. So those, I don't know if you've ever it's lifted heavy. one. They have this. There, I took them out. The other you did. Because we and just started pushing with this. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's heavy. Because right. it's it's heavy. Heavy. Yeah. we started ordering shit weeks before we went to Baltimore. We li like I ordered the vanity from Home Depot for the bathroom. Like we literally started ordering shit. Yeah. Before we went up there, so it all, we timed it so it would all be there. When we got there. Let me tell you something. It ain't nothing like having some gay men on your team. Hello. If you are a mother with a gay boy, <laughs> some shit will get done. <laughs> That's all I'm here to tell you. Oh, I, said, I said, look at all, look at all the toys put together. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> now it took us a minute to put some shit because Scott and I put together like um, something in Gloria's room. Oh yeah. We put together like the, a dress the, end table. the end table, yeah. the console table. Right. We put together. You and Ryan table. put together the end table. He, and Ryan well, he was trying to get out of doing it yeah. to go to walk to, I want to go to Starbucks. Yeah. That bullshit. <laughs> then you and Craig put together the, the, the sofa table. table. I was right. just like, Lord, how much. Then you and Ryan put together the beds. The beds, both right. the beds. Right, right. Well, yeah, they did both the beds. We're going to go to Starbucks tomorrow. I'm right. a Starbucks girl. Because we got like, new beds. Day. We got a new bed for my mother, a new bed for Gloria's room with new mattresses, new bedding, all of that kind of stuff. Like new every, blinds throughout new the blinds house. throughout the house. Like these blinds that I have, we did new blinds all around the house. To make it feel comfortable yeah. there, like right. she is here. Craig, Craig put up all the blinds. <laughs> Be clear about that. He put, Wait, the, he put, put them the, in the case. I put the brackets up and Craig put the put them in the case. That's right. Let's Be clear. That's right. <laughs> and then um, myself, Ryan, and Gloria went to the grocery store and we bought a bunch of groceries to put in the house. Because we threw everything in the fridge. Yeah. Okay. We got everything that was in the refrigerator was thrown in the trash. Yeah, the peanut butter was green. Yes. And yeah, Gloria, I mean, uh, yeah, Jack did a really good job of cleaning up. She and Gloria did a good job of cleaning up. Well, yeah, but it's fine. They're not touching it. So what happened? Fine. They're about the mirror. I it needs an anchor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. In the bathroom, it needs yeah. an anchor behind because it's really yeah, just up there by the brick. Yeah, it is. That's right. Mike, and it was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we got a lot done that weekend. And Jack, that bathroom, Jack made that thing sparkle. I was yeah. That. that bathroom was nasty. I was like, because I, I said, I didn't know to get these jets clean up. That's a rest Oh, my God. So let me just let it soak for two hours. Yeah, that was good. How you put the water like, in the toilet? Like, so. The toilet brush, the bathroom, right. everything. So the soap. This is like, how do you live in a house and you never yes, clean? clean. The tub was black. 
It was, yeah. You would have thought it was mold in the fucking tub. Beautiful tub, beautiful tile. It's clean. Like, like, oh my God, it looks good. Like, we changed I, like, the toilet seat. We changed yes. the toilet seats. Everything. Yeah, we bought new toilet seats. Like, when we got, when we went to Home Depot on Saturday, we literally, we changed ceiling fans, like yes. light fixtures in the kitchen, in the hallway upstairs. Like, Damon did that. Yeah. And That's so, the MVP. I have to. And I he, have Damon to. was the MVP. Oh my God. Yeah, because we, we can do a lot of facial stuff. Yeah. yeah. Cosmetic. Cosmetics. But stuff. baby, when it comes to plumbing and electricity, he changed yeah. the, the faucet in the kitchen. I told David, like, I was something. scared because it's such an old house. Like, exactly. I changed all yeah. the light fixtures in my house, yeah. but I was scared to fool. Well, he that. even had to get more yeah. of those things to cover yeah. because yeah. the yeah. wires are not like old. Right. They're yeah. the yeah. old wires. So he had to make sure he connected the right ones. But that's it. Did he, did he bring tools with him? No, no we bought the tools. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, when so we went to Home Depot, we had to get all the tools. Because 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 it's an older house, you just you have to know what to yeah, use. What you exactly. Yeah, exactly. Drywalls, you know, you want to. So Dan is like sheetrock like they're doing the blue house. This is. This is it's plaster. It's plaster. Right. Yeah. And I kept asking Damon. I had text because Damon left Sunday night. Yeah, Mark, yeah, Sunday. Sunday. Damon left Sunday night because his daughter was going back to school uh, Monday morning. So he left Sunday night. So we were really on a time schedule. And so I had text Damon before he got on his flight. I was like, hey, let me know how much I owe you for the work that you did. Because he, like I said, he changed the faucet in the kitchen. He changed the shower head in the bathroom. He changed the entire vanity and the pipes because sure the water was coming out really slowly. He changed the light fixtures throughout the house, the kitchen, the bedroom, the hallway upstairs, the other bedroom. He put up the ceiling fans. He put up the ceiling fans. He was up on the roof. He did something on the roof. He did. They're, they put those in the new faucets now um, in the in the kitchen uh -huh. in the bathroom vanity. There's a little white. It's a filter. Yeah. So that that can be removed. Yeah, yeah. And the thing will flow faster. Yeah. yeah. And you know what else so did he do? He helped paint. Yep. He did the. He changed the toilet. Um, yes. Toilet seats on both of the toilets. And the toilet. Um, he did something. Oh, yeah. 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 The, yeah. The, yeah. the equipment inside the toilet yeah. downstairs. Yeah. And in the basement. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he did a lot of work. And so he sent me a text. I almost was crying because I had to go on Monday morning to file the eviction and all that kind of stuff. And so when I was there, he texted me and said, God put it on my heart to not charge you anything. Uh -huh. I'm, I was just glad to be able to help. But I still ended up sending him $1,000 because I just believe, well, my mom, I sent it from my mother's money. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I. <laughs> girl, this your house. Girl, I ain't got it. Because yes. <laughs> you, can't, you, can't, you can't put a price on people's time. No, and he was no. there working for two days, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so and if I had never done that and took charge of that, she probably would have never. She would have never said, I need to upgrade. But you know what? This. Like, to me, I think it's like a full circle moment because here you have, she took care of these people who are ingrates, right? But the oh. people that. Uh, really don't have anything they best like, they we, we swooped in because it's really a testimony to what family is and yes. what family looks like. Right. You said it best when yes. we, and I tweeted I tweeted this the other day and you said let me get to it. Oh, about yeah, people, I saw that. Yes. Um, for people that yes. Yeah. You said um relationships and not and it's not just romantic rela it's relationships, not, it's, it's friendships, not. it's um um Family, you said relationships are defined by how we show up for people you say you care about. Yeah, right. That's yeah. really what it is. Because well, your, your, your integrity like, is at stake. Yeah. Your integrity. If I'm staying here free of charge, I'm not doing this. I'm a boy. I'm a. I'm a I'm going to take care of this dwelling. Yeah, I'm exactly. Fix this and fix that. That's so that's I what you would expect. Longer and increase the value in the place. You know, or help mom because she helped me. <laughs> but no, they just there's this. What? Some people don't give a damn. No, they don't. No, they don't. Well, they they give a damn what they get. Yes, out of it. I, what they get out of it. Basically, yeah. So yeah. So I think that's it. I think we no, no. no. Oh, that ain't it. Uh -huh. Oh, so they were there when we. Oh, know. that's right. So what happened was I was down at the court. <laughs> I was down at the court filling out the um eviction stuff, the ten day eviction. I came back. I posted it on all of the doors, the front door, the back door, and the bedroom door where he was sleeping. And I put it on the basement door, I think too. We go downstairs. Oh, yeah. So I put it on all of the doors. Oh, you did put it on the door. Yeah, and I sent him a nice text message and letting him know that uh, you are on notice. Nice or nice dance? Get your ass. No, it was nice professional because he did it from a different number. I did. Oh. I did it from my number that I streamed from. Oh, okay. So they don't have that number because I had already blocked them on everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> so then Ryan and I jumped on the plane. 
on Monday. On Monday. And, and Scott left the next day, Tuesday. which was Tuesday. Scott put the bed, helped me put the bed together as far as dressing. And, and My mother's bed. Yeah, yeah Scott, yeah, Scott, Scott not left. That one lady and we stayed in the car. We were yeah, yeah, we went shopping for the bathroom and bedding stuff. Then when Tuesday, me and Jack were there. We finished. Jack finished the bathroom. Couldn't have done it without it because I was everywhere. I couldn't yeah. do that bathroom. That bathroom yeah. took time. Yeah. Because yeah. that girl was dirty. Yeah. Then let's move forward. Down the toilet, huh? No. <laughs> move forward. It's Friday. Everybody's gone home. Ain't nobody ever on Gloria. Your mother is a dialysis. What happened? As, As in yesterday. As yeah. in yesterday. What happened? So yesterday, my aunt Gloria was at my mother's house because she's staying at my mother's house with her on the days that she goes to dialysis. My mother was at dialysis and my sister, my nephew, and my brother show up at the house to get my nephew's stuff out of the basement. So Gloria is no, 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 anxious and yeah, she's anxious. panicking. She calls Elliot because I had meetings and shit yesterday back to back to back to back. She calls me and I'm on the phone and she says, I'm shaking. And I told him, Girl, look, I got to get off this car. I need to call my Aunt Gloria. He at work. He got to, he, he got to call his Aunt Gloria. Because I'm like, the girl, she was shaking. I'm right. like, what's going on? And so my sister tries to come into the house. How? Well, she knocked on the door. Okay. They knocked on the door. Okay. So Gloria opened the door. She said, you're not welcome in here. <laughs> Your mother don't want you Your mother here. don't want you in here. If you don't speak, you can't come in here. You're not a resident here. And the eviction notice is on the door. Exactly. And the, right. The notices are still on the door. So my, my Aunt Gloria let my brother and my nephew in. And he came in and said, hey, auntie. And Gloria said to me, he spoke to me today, but he didn't speak the, speak the other day. Right, right, right. So he came in with my brother, and they got his shit out of the house. All of it. Awesome. Not all of it. It's still a few stuff things. The stuff that was in the basement. Yeah. So there's still a few things down there. So the stuff that was in the garbage bag, did he put it on the bags, or did y'all put that on the bag? We put a lot of that shit in the bag. Hey, Jack, he had moved nothing. He had moved nothing. nothing. That's not Because you did say he moved, he moved the TVs. He took the TV long before. Right. Because she gave him a 55 inch yeah. TV. He took the TV. He took what he wanted, but he yeah. didn't move anything physically from right. the rooms. Because it was like, I'm still living here. Right. Y'all are not, you know, because y'all are not serious. That's how we took it when we got there Friday. Right. Because yeah. nothing was moved. Nothing was moved. And so my Aunt Gloria said, she and my sister had words. They argued back. Well, she said, I wanted to bust that bitch in her face. And she said, but I was so scared they were going to jump on me. I said, they were going to jump you. I said, if they had jumped yeah. you, I'd have jumped on a plane. And she, she clowned. She, your right. girl said she started in the front yard. And then she I'm a clown. Oh, this, 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 right. this. Then she went to the backyard. But she, she, she ain't coming in the house. She ain't coming in the house. She, 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 What's she going to call this for? Right. Because that's not, what she thought about. You're not a resident. You can't come in here. You're not a resident. You're not a resident here. He got the yard. And so he came in and got some of his stuff out. And he left. And Jimmy came back and got more stuff. Right. Oh, he did. Right. Because they had a U-Haul in the back on Glory said. Jimmy came back later. He got more stuff. Just but Jimmy. Just Jimmy. My brother is Jimmy. Mm-hmm. So and so um and so he and my aunt Gloria were talking and he said, Well, I just have a problem with somebody filing elder abuse. Talk about me. Because when I filed the eviction, I filed for elder but abuse as well. But that's elder abuse. When you neg that's neglect. Absolutely. You weren't getting her the dialysis. No. She was losing all this weight because she wasn't really eating and right. I was there to make sure she was eating. You weren't clean. That's so, elder abuse. Yeah. That's the elder abuse. She was afraid to walk around her own. She house. was afraid yeah. to walk around the house with my nephew. He had shit all over the house. She was a skip. But it's okay call. for you to call the police. That's why, that's why but I it's okay for y'all to call the police. Fuck them. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, I, it, it, and I don't know Jimmy, and I don't get the impression that he. Well, a lot of people don't understand what elder abuse is. They think it's exactly. not physical. It's right. Not abuse. Exactly. That's not, abuse comes in different forms. In different forms. And a lot of times when you're intimidating an elderly person, taking their money, that is elder abuse. That's abuse. That's abuse. Yeah. But people don't understand it because they're not educated. Exactly. Come on through now. So they showed up yesterday and there were no incidents. Yeah. And, you know, they got their stuff and he got some of his stuff and then he left. Yeah. And Gloria was like, Craig, I'm just shaking. Craig I said, to Gloria. Right. I said, you fine. You she said, she right. was shaking. I said, you held it down. You did a good right. job. So it, it's just the intimidation. And your sister right. feels like she can run to your mother's house and do like it's her house. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The way she was trying them keys in that house. The way she would come, come. Oh, my like, God. Keys like, did not work. This is not your house. Right. Yeah, no, I don't you ain't getting in here. He can come out the refrigerator going on my own if I need to What the hell? Right. It, honestly, so if I learned that thing, it made me appreciate that I'm an only child. Right. Right. I mean, it's just, it's just sad. It's really unfortunate. 
But when I was in it with them on Sunday, my mother kept saying, think about what you're about to do. Don't let them destroy your right. feet. Don't let them right. destroy your feet. Because she'll about... win. Get you right. go to jail. You about, about, right. about to film this show. Yeah, yeah. she was right. She was so right. Yes. Just think all about how far you come, all the you come with where you're at. Oh, okay. did you step away? Yeah, yeah, I need to get it down. Y'all, y'all, y'all. So we can handle. Let's see. Right, go ahead. Hey, oh, Shelly. I don't need to move over. You can sit there. <laughs> <laughs> Your lace front. Oh, yeah. in my ponytail. Really? I don't have on a lace front. This is all natural. I'm good. <laughs> they sell like natural. Uh, babe, I don't do glue. <laughs> they don't, you don't have to use glue. Mm -mm. They got some rubber band shit. <laughs> I don't need rubber bands. Mm -mm. I, I have, like my edges nice and tight. I have no clue what y'all talk about. <laughs> Elliot is so kind. Elliot took good care of me. I can never repay him enough. Child, I, I enjoy that. being with him. He is so retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I commend you guys because we couldn't have done it alone. It was we, it was nobody, overwhelming. Yes, it, it was, really it was. was a lot. Everybody and it's not over. We got because I got a punch list for y'all. I have a punch. Oh, list. it's a lot more to be done. Yeah. It's not complete, but yeah. at the same time, she is getting comfortable. I checked on her today, and it's more so. Are you all right? Are you yeah, comfortable? Are too. you enjoying your? Because it's, it's getting comfortable with your own space. Yeah, yeah. Well, and then, claiming it. Yeah, right. And then right. dealing with the mental aspect of did all of this just really happen? Yeah, right. yeah. And it did because Mother Gladys. Has seen it, but Sunday but I think was a revelation. Yeah, it was like, do I want yeah. to block it out, or whatever? Yeah. And then, because uh, when you're at an age and you're dealing with the illness, you can be kind of evil. Yeah, you can. And it and it just happens. It just you're already evil because you're older. That's interesting. And then you're dealing with the illness too. So I I seen those things like, Mom, did you really just do that to your sister? Well, like, she said, it's more so. Under, well, Craig made this point months ago to me, because I used to say when he lived with me, you're a little snappy, you're a little short, oh. but you're hurt. <laughs> but he brought it to forefront. He says, that's learned behavior, because he said my mother and father used to do it as I was growing up. Yeah. Uh, his father would be short and curt with his mother. She was shut down. And I have said to them, and I have to do this myself, it's a learning process as a family. He said his aunts and stuff do. Do they take over the situation? But he said that that's a Baltimore thing too. Like people it's a, talk it's a, at you. It's, it's like they are very, they're yeah. very. That that's just how they are. And I, I hate when people say that, but like I kind of saw that. Like that's they don't people don't take that kind of stuff personally. You know, like New Yorkers are very abrasive. Right. Yes, yes. I guess that's kind of like how. Baltimore but you can break that mold. I don't. I, when I moved to New York, they were that way, and I found myself saying, "Get the fuck out of here." Because they think you're trying yeah. to maintain her integrity and her independence because her health is failing. She's at a certain age. And so here's Aunt Gloria. She's willing to help. So she, I saw <clears> this <throat> is my house. This is my territory. And it's almost reduced back to primary uh, childhood behavior. This is mine. You can have this space. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's, I'm like, Mom, did you just, but it's communication. Did you just spread your thing all over there like but that? You, like it's that communication. You, know, you don't want to share with your sister. Well, and, I, and it's it's a behavior yes. that I've asked both of them for me. You got to communicate effectively and be nice yes. to each other. Yeah, yeah. But see, that's 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 what we know now because we've learned it or unlearned some stuff or educated as we're, when you're going through something in your life. You, you're not open to learning of But siblings you do just, that you just want to maintain, like, They do. Just because wanna, that's how they've yeah. always dealt with yeah. one yeah. another. Yeah. Or or if something is yours, this is the one thing that you have. So you're gonna fight to say, This is mine. I own this. I'm in I'm in charge here. And you're not going to Well, it's also Jack when people even even not just their age. Scott, you and me, we live alone. If you get sick yes. and need somebody to help. You know where you have things, right. you know where you like right. things to yeah, be. Yeah. If somebody's coming in to help you and stay with you, you be like, who moved the damn right. slope like, and it's always right. here? Yes. And they be like, I thought, you know, I would just help yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So right. Right. all of, we all do that. Yeah. Right. Yes. We just have to that's, focus that's, that's a little bit more. Because when I had my surgery, I had surgery back in, I don't remember, back in the spring. And when Dale came and stayed with mm -hmm. me, because I was not coherent after whatever, and so he was on a conference call working, and he was being really loud, and I was still groggy from my medication, but I could hear him in my mm -hmm. dining room, and I was just like, I came out, groggy, came down the hall, I was like, I'm good, you can go home now. Yeah. Because <laughs> he was that loud, and I was like, I'm trying to sleep, and you in here on this conference call yelling, basically. Not like, really realizing. Right. Yeah, and not, he, he apologized. You don't want to 
I mean, yeah, yeah I'm like, like that. that. Yeah. yeah. But see, it's also me living by myself yeah. and my only child. Yeah. Stuff oh, like yeah, you got a man. Yeah, yeah. Me and my cousin just had that discussion because I have two brothers. Growing up, my mother always made room for her siblings. We lived in a one bedroom. Her brother and his girlfriend was there. Oh, wow. We had a pull out couch where my brother slept on. My mother slept in the bedroom with my little brother because he was little. And my uncle and his girlfriend slept on the floor. So, wait, how many people were in the one bedroom? It was five people. This is in Memphis? This was in Memphis. Wow. Because she always why, made room like for her siblings. So, yeah. wow. so, my cousin was an only child just like you were for 10 years. She said, I didn't even realize y'all was, she said, because it was always somebody in y'all house when we came over, when I came over. That's why now at this age, having the house I have, I don't have a problem with people living with me, but there is a point that yeah, you want to yeah. be by yourself. With right, me. exactly. Yeah. And yeah. that is something everybody can't do. Yeah. Because when you ain't, Scott, right, right now, when you go home, how you left that kitchen sink and how you left your bed jack, it's going to be the same way. Ain't nobody going to have no damn towels right. everywhere when you come home. Yeah. That's what you're accustomed That's to. That's right. And case the point. Because my mother will come to my house now. My on this table yeah. behind my door. I don't care what happens. But right next to the table, there's a hook with some keys on it, right? Mm -hmm. But my car keys go on the table. table. And I know I told my sons that my car keys go on the table. So one of them one day came in and put my damn car keys on oh, that book. And I tell you, I was running around there for a half hour. Where my fucking keys? I'm going to lose them. I'm, like, no, I'm late. I'm, like, I'm all kind of confused. And, and I'm like, and I, I I never look at the hook because that's not where yeah, I put them. Yeah. Wait, he's, I put them on the hook. That's what he told me. No, the fuck I did. <laughs> so it's, and it's that because yes. I'm telling you, they are going to go on that table. Yeah. Cause that it's just if nothing else goes right, they're gonna take it. That's, so that's why the, you gotta yeah. communicate when people. Cause we all are gonna get to that point if we live to see that age. You're right. You're going to need some help. Yeah. At the same time, when you're single, you live by yourself. We have to adjust to communicating effectively to those who come to help us. I'm not about to be single anymore. Oh. Well, come on. Now. <laughs> I, oh my God. What's the <laughs> June sixth. I'm not about to be sick anymore. Okay. Mm. I'm about to. I'm, I'm about to be uh, permanently off the mark. <laughs> okay. Permanently off the mark. Okay. You okay. heard it here first. Right? Uh, mm. Nine one one. We heard it from well, Scott. I am so excited. I can't wait to find out the details. Oh, well, you you better. Okay. Okay. You have to, you have to refresh me. Uh, at the party, girl, you wouldn't even there at the party mentally. Oh, you right. don't remember. Yeah, yeah. At which party? Yeah, at the going away party. You, you were, you were, you were. You were a little. He actually girl. made you a few drinks. He was a and part of the reason you asked him to make you some yeah. drinks. You did. Yes. Did he got rained on? Yes. Yes. He was sitting right here on the end. You asked the man to make you drinks, and he didn't even did. know you. And I'm like, because I, I, I was like, what? Are he was like, she asked me to make her. I was I like, oh. I have, to, I have to try to. Recall. Girl, you're not going to recall it. That whole night was a blur. For that you. night was a mess. It was a blur. You don't even recall down there doing karaoke with that. I remember the karaoke. Where, did you know you was doing the duet with, with, with I Ty's friend? I remember all the karaoke. I don't remember nobody making me a drink. He made you a few. He made you a few. But I, but I wasn't looking at it like that. No. So no. I, have to, I have to go back to that. <laughs> Okay, well, congratulations to you. <laughs> help me. No, help you. <laughs> but she don't remember. Now she's got old folks' disease. No, so I have. It, it was called alcohol. Okay. Oh. He, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The one who thought, oh, wait a minute. He made uh, it. Yes, he did. We had a whole conversation. I know. He thought he was this. I'm like, oh, you're not that. Oh, you got a P1T. <laughs> No, he's yeah, 46. He said, I said, you're not literally all my age. He's like, oh, he's 46? He's 46. He's 46. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. Mm. I remember now very clearly. What well, how do you, depending we're on that topic, how do you feel about it's a new relationship. I don't, and I'm, and I'm asking. You know, we're done. Another rabbit hole. Yeah, we're going to segue to us. Come on right now. Here. Getting into a new relationship. Yeah. And if the person comes to stay for a few days. It was fine. It was, it the was only, fine. It was fine. So the only thing that, um, so he's a morning person. I'm not a morning, I'm a morning person, but I'm a morning person 
just so by me. Yeah, yeah, just me. So, but he wakes up and he's like, "Good morning," and I'm like, "Uh, uh-uh. like that's that's a ten. I need you like at a four. <laughs> I need to have about two cups of coffee before I can get up to that. So, um, you know, it's that so and like learning each other. And he slept on, like he spreads out in my bed, oh, where, bed, but it's not a problem because I sleep. I'm an isolated sleeper. I you know stay right in the same space basically um so it really wasn't a problem but you know it's fine like i so we went to lunch today and we were talking because he's in greece right now and he sent me all these pictures of his meals in greece no 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 his meal on the plane and i was like so i was telling craig and my other friends i was like I don't, I don't give a fuck about the blank. What? I, why are yes. you sitting okay. me? So I was like, "Am I crazy?" And they were like, "You no. have to be in he's sharing, like, he's he's sharing, sharing that. Yes. You need to." And I was like, "Okay, okay, okay." I was like, yeah. "All right." I'm like, "But I don't give a shit yeah. like that you got served a salad in the, uh, like who gives a fuck?" So, so yes. I was so like, and so to- I told them, and so my friend said, "You just gonna have to act like you're interested." Yes. And I was like, "Okay." Right. No, you have to communicate to him that. Well, I they said yeah. that I need to eventually have that conversation, conversation, but until we do, I have to act yeah. like I'm in, like, right. oh, wow, that's really great. Yeah, right. awesome. Because I was just doing, this is what I was doing. Bust this bubble. Yeah. I was sending thumbs up. And so. that's what you do. You did good. <laughs> because, you know, people say, well, I'm good. I'm in my place. I'm together. I did this. I had therapy. I'm, I'm good. But you don't realize how good you are until you start to do that with somebody else. Yeah, yeah. How much more work you have to do. Right. Because yeah. I'm good on my terms. On your terms. Right. So he may yeah. not have experienced right. that part. He may have experienced something yeah. else. Vice versa, same thing. Well, that's what, so when we were at lunch, I said that I was like, "What love language is that?" Because I don't like, I don't need that. Like, I don't, I don't need you to text me every damn course of your meal on the plane. Right. Right. Like, what? The, I don't care. Like, right. I ain't eating that shit. Right. So what I, I, God, God. So I remember one time I was going back to work on the boat, and um, there was a guy, and I could tell you could tell who it's the first time was right. Yeah. And so he's like. And and the and the pilot shows off like he does all this shit so you can see the eyes. Yeah, yeah. And so this guy's like, "Can you take a picture for that for me?" I was like, "Uh, uh-uh, you gonna you gonna see that minimum amount of time." <laughs> right. Sit your ass down. This is my third time. When I remember when my first time was, you were doing this. Oh my god, this is amazing. So. Well, so that was the fact, like, this is not his first time out the country. It's not his first time flying. But it's not his first time time sharing. That's exactly what they said to me. They were like, that's this is his first time sharing with you. With you. Maybe that happens all the time. I know. Okay. Enjoy. I'm trying to do better. Like, so I'm having the conversation. Because normally I would have been like, I don't, I don't give a shit. But one of the things about you that I've noticed. And when it's a you're going end. to find something wrong in the situation. Wait, Always. But don't when's working? June sixth. The Gemini. Gemini. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Work. I, on, you you got to work on that. I, no no no. Well, because I'm trying to like so it's the controlling part of me. Is it wrong or unenthusiastic? It's right. a little both there. Okay. But so it's the controlling part of me trying to prepare myself for the worst. But why? Um, well, not, why not the because best? I need to always have a contingency plan. That that's the control. control. I have that same problem, yeah. but you have to sometimes let things happen the way they're going to happen. Yeah, they're going to happen. Agreed. Agreed. It's hard. But I, I get that. But I, I think that. about eighteen thousand ways this shit the can play out. Oriented. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah your, your brother would have got the same problem. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and I don't think it's, it's, it's yeah. Oh, no. With certain simple. situations, because he had the same problem with Mother Glass. Okay. Well, if you go home, this could possibly happen. He was thinking of things that yeah, continue yeah, to happen. Yeah. Yeah, don't think the negative. negative. No, I mean, for you. But well, prepare no, for the negative. Just yeah, don't think it. Right. right there. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, so we're, right look, we're, so really, that might be our song, we're going um, on vacation, vacation Labor Day. You and him? Can, oh, y'all yeah. talking about old boy? Yeah, I yeah. know who he was, who he was. Well, we were talking about how your mother is reclaiming her space. Right. Because you, you, you like, and your house people And we're talking about yeah, getting yeah, older. And they're like, you know, being single. I was like, I ain't about to be single no more. Like, I'm about to be settled. <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> That's how and it. people coming into your space, you have to adjust. You do have to, to adjust. New things. And you, and you, you just did. Best, but it, it, it's an adjust because even here, Mother Gladys was like, I'm going to put them shelves up. Right. And she made all the Remember inches. the bars? Yeah. I was a bar. I how she was telling the people to cut my trees yeah. down. <laughs> I'm like, girl, I don't want my trees cut. <laughs> and it's all with good intentions, but yeah, it's yeah. more so. 
That's why when you said to me, what are you doing when you're going on stuff? I said, I'm working with my client because I want them to be comfortable right, with whatever right, I pick. Right. So I said, well, you got to sleep in this bed. You got No, 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 no. <laughs> That's why when I go to the store, does, do you like this? Everything was, are you comfortable with it? Right. Yeah, and that's yeah. why they made it a bed. Why should I do this one? Side of the life? Exactly. Mm -hmm. What you say, there's something that you say about you think you're good by yourself, but you don't know how good you are until you practice it with someone else. Yes, it is. But you said it another way. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. And that's so true. Yeah, I'm healed. It's a whole I'm new good. level of lessons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, okay, well, I thought my shit was tight. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it don't it doesn't matter how much work you've done. Right. Stuff right. Like right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There are new lessons. You. There are new. There are new lessons that yeah. show up yeah. when somebody's in your space. I was telling about what we were talking about at lunch today about about him texting me all the pictures and stuff, and I was like, I don't know. I don't give a shit. But. So they said the same thing you said. I hope he don't watch this video. <laughs> okay. Well, it was, it's, it's, you gotta be honest now. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. And that was what Wendell said, but it's important to have that conversation because he should know how you feel and yeah. it's important to be with somebody. But I don't want to hurt his feelings. Like, yeah, yeah. Not, but no, I think if you explain it, I, this is new for me because I'm used to being, doing those experiences myself. I've been right. there, but they're new with us together. So yeah. I understand your point. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. It, it, it comes with time. It does. It definitely does. <laughs> so y'all gonna be coming over and stuff now that my mother and them kind of I don't really feel lonely. I don't feel lonely. I don't feel my tissue that she's not here. Not when you talk to me to the stand. Then I call her your mother too much. Well, I'm just gonna walk around the corner and knock her Right. I didn't tell you that she could. What? I've been on time out. I've been on suspension. Oh, <laughs> silent lunch. Look, like, she even is the motherfucking supporters like that sit there. Y'all ain't here. But anywho. What are you this, talking about? I don't know what she's talking about. She got in that cup a little deep. That's basically paint that thin right. That ain't nothing of paint that I'm Is that much alcohol in there? Yes, it's nothing but alcohol in there. What is supposed to be the other thing? No, I'm not going to take a picture of this shit. It's vodka and pucker, which is the other thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
right. four weeks. That's just him going outside. I'm gonna let him decide. Okay, I'm. I'm. Gonna, it's worth me doing this. Short term, long term. Is right. It happen long term. Is it gonna be Airbnb? Is it gonna be sold? Is it gonna be trash? Right. Those kind of things. Your phone was in the car. In the car the whole time. Because I got our brain bag. Because Ernestine likes to go to all the stores and shops for all the oh. things. Ernestine. <laughs> I like to go all the stores and shops for all the things. I'm a professional shopper. Ernestine. Ernestine. Tangy. Aunt Scott. Um, That's so the show. Uh -huh. That's the show. That's, That's the show. show. Louise. <laughs> Louise. Oh, my God. That is Louise McGillicott. So it's something that you turn on in Alexa? I'm trying, yeah. to, I'm trying to find it now. So well, you I don't have an iPhone. iPhone. Well, I added me as a contact. And I tried to add myself as a contact. Did you add me as a contact? That, I think that's why she couldn't drop in because I was trying to figure out how to add myself as a contact in hers. Well, does she have this on? She don't have this on her phone. I right? put it in. I set it up on my phone. Oh, okay. Uh, with her stuff. Yeah. Okay, let's see if Scott can show us because I was just like, this is not working. Right. Because I, I was able to set her up as a contact in mine. Because she never answers that phone. She does not. I called today. And I'm going to try to fix that. Right. But listen, you guys have an amazing Saturday. We're about yeah, to get up off of here. Tomorrow, later tonight, no, okay. So it's under. My drop in is in eight. Please share the video. And I'm not getting the night. Oh, you I please have like the video. I'm under communication. No, I have That's a drop And I'm going to give you guys some yeah, Patreon from it. tomorrow when we go on it's set enabled. to film. Yeah, it's an A show. I can't tell drop you. Drop in and able to get anyway, started. Go to bye, y'all. Okay, says in town. Allow drop in.